one thing, become an ink master, win $100,000. I didn't come here to make friends. I didn't come here to make buddies. You're my competition, and I would destroy you. My strategy to win this competition is to have fun with each tattoo I do, have fun with each client I work with, and get to the finale, and then slice the throat of the person who's ahead of me, and then win. This is going to be awesome, man. We're going to do something really beautiful for you. The rules of thumb when approaching a cover-up are you're not covering a tattoo. What you're doing is you're actually camouflaging it. The darks are always going to be there. The black's certainly always going to be there. So what you're trying to do is work with what's there and make something brand new for the person. I lay down 90% of my clients just to make them comfortable and feel at ease throughout the whole entire tattoo, and that helps so much. Actual basics of a tribal tattoo, very solid black fill-in and incredibly clean lines. Mostly clean lines that run parallel to each other. So everything is almost like perfectly spaced geometrically or in a flowing manner. This is another monster tattoo from you. Go big or go home. But don't finish, go home. James, we feel that you had the best tattoo. Thank you. It's definitely a little unnerving to go into black and gray up against Shane O'Neill. He's one of the top artists in the country doing black and gray. You know, when I started tattooing, I was immediately drawn to black and gray. When I picked your name, mm -hmm. I was like, F yeah. Because I've admired your work for a while. Oh, awesome, man. I like his ideas, incorporating all the baker's tools. There's some cool elements in there. I'll be able to display, like, really smooth shading. I feel like I have an opportunity to win one now. Shane. I'm loving the black and gray work and the drop shadow on the skin. Thank you. This is what black and gray is supposed to look like. You hit it. Good job. Thank you. We've all heard the saying, picture paints a thousand words. Today, the elimination tattoo will do just the same. You'll be using all of your precision skills to create a photorealistic tattoo. Photorealism is probably the toughest thing to do in tattooing. You just have to look at a picture and duplicate it on the skin. Your design will need to look like an actual photo. The competition is getting tougher. The pressure is on, so everybody wants to pull out their best job, and I want to win this. I love it. It's great. This is absolutely unbelievable. A photo is a captured moment in time, a specific millisecond and Leah's tattoo looks like exactly that. If she flexed her quad muscle, you'd almost feel like the snow leopard was gonna move and like pounce on something. You have that really cool other back paw that comes out to the side and that really gives this leopard a turning flow. All in all, you executed a really beautiful tattoo today. The best one of this competition for you by far. Welcome back. Thank you. Over the years, the American traditional tattoo has evolved into a technicolor style all its own. A great American traditional tattoo should have a lot of black, very clean outlines, bright colors with a limited palette. This is all I was able to tattoo for the first year of my career. I'm going to be good at this. It's American traditional, real simple. It's got to be bold. My pasty skin finally comes in handy for something. My goal is in five hours, get done about five tattoos. How was this for you? The whole first year of my apprenticeship, all I could do is go through books, trace them out, tattoo them exactly how they are. This competition is to hand out the prize to somebody who can do it all. That's what it boils down to. In your case, man, you know, you, you hit today's mark. And the client told you what they wanted. You gave them six of what he wanted, and you did some nice traditional work. You can thank your mentor for this one. And Josh, you had the tattoo of the day, man. Thank you. You put your traditional boots on today. Good job. Thank you. To do a good pinup, you got to do the face, the expression, great. And normally, I'll start at the bottom and work my way up. But here, there is time constraints, so I went right to the head. Get the face exactly how I want it to look, like really tight detail. I'd rather get the face done while we're fresh and not stressing about the last half hour, you know what I mean? The judges want a full body pinup from head to toe, so that's going to mean that the faces are going to be a lot smaller than some of the other competitors are used to doing. It's an action pinup, which is just extraordinary. To put an expression on her face, that just blew my mind, man. 
the hair flow. You got the red accents in her hair, the red ribbon. Tremendous job, man. I love the way you left a real clear little negative spot under the pupil of the eye. It really makes that lid come in. Overall, you killed this thing. It's technically a beautiful tattoo. It's proportionate, and the choice of using the action in the tattoo makes it stand out from the stiff tattoos. Great job, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. 20 minutes of daydreaming has passed through my head. <laughs> I get lost in the hair just like daydreaming that Today's style, like super smooth, portrait black and gray tattoos, they're super stressful for some people, but it's relaxing to me. I just love duplicating images. Aside from my canvas passing out and not letting me finish it, I'm clearly gonna win this challenge. Skin's pretty much how I expected it to be for this spot. An extra two hours would be awesome. Then I can relax, you know what I mean? <laughs> Out of all the portraits available, you chose the child. I didn't want you to think I was taking the easy way out. I felt like this one would shine the most. The smile and the glitter in her eyes and everything. The hair was pretty crazy to take on. I've done a lot of child portraits myself, and ones with teeth are without a doubt the most difficult of children's portraits to do. It really uh, looks like the photograph. Really nice, accurate job. In the photograph, the light that's in her eyes is the reflection of the flash. Flash, yeah. And so you had to move that and use your white in a different spot to really make it appear lifelike. Awesome, I'm glad you noticed. Amazing touch, yeah, man. You really pulled the likeness together. You definitely have the less is more approach. You did the name and the portrait. Nothing more needed. Great job, man. Thank you. James, you're up first. Let's talk about your 12-hour tattoo. I wanted to focus on all the aspects of shading, blending, line work, depth, and show that I did learn and do what I know I can do in that amount of time. Dude, you're an amazing tattooer, man. You bang out big work. Shane, you're next. Let's talk about your 12-hour tattoo. The shading in the face especially is so soft. The use of the negative space and the chin the really dramatic hard outline. This thing looks like a carved statue. I've seen a lot of these done, and it is so easy to just jack these things up. To give it this dimension and the way you made this thing look, how it was kind of statuesque, you really excelled with this. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Tommy, let's take a look at your 12-hour tattoo. This is a big, impressive, dark piece. I really like the outcome of it. All the detail you did wrapped around the horns and in the helmet set this tattoo apart. You really hit this on the head. Shane, after discussing your work, the judges have decided you have earned the title of Ink Master. Congratulations, man. Congrats, man. Enjoy this victory. Morgue entrance. This is a morgue? What a morgue. That's awful. We'll find out who vomits first. Jesse, you're up. Were you happy to get this canvas? I was happy the fact that he was open to whatever. I'm not typically a new school guy, but I like what you've done. Are you gonna do anything else to this ride? Definitely. I think Jesse, his light sources, his shading, his textures are incredible. Can't deny his talent. I think it's really solid. While there are no easy tattoos, cover-ups are generally reserved for the more experienced tattooers. One of you did excel with your cover-up. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jesse. Undeniably, you did the smoothest, cleanest, biggest, baddest tattoo of the day, and you deserve the victory. Thank you. My client is leaving the color palette completely up to me. I'm gonna shine on this. So what's that across between like a Velociraptor and a lizard? And a T-Rex. And uh, whatever the <laughs> else I, uh, yeah. I thought would look cool. <laughs> I know colors, I can rock this. Now they're gonna see what I'm capable of. Sarah. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I had everything in my head. You put a lot of white, but you left a lot of skin breaks. So as this thing ages, it's gonna age nicely. The detail, the color, the eyes, the hat. And you're definitely one of the strongest competitors. For this elimination tattoo, we want you to terrify us with a horror tattoo. I am ecstatic that this week we're doing horror images. It is 70% of the work I do, I'm gonna kill it. Similar to books and films, horror is a broad style with one goal in mind, and that's to scare. 
The tattoos look real using texture to bring them to life. I'm happy as a pig in I'm known for tattooing dead stuff, bloody, gory, demon-like. I mean, this is the best stuff I do. I'm really super happy about this. Everything you do is a horror flick. Look here, does horror. Point to Steve. <laughs> what are you doing to this guy? Steve has the advantage in this challenge. This is what he does. That's his M.O. I hate you. I hate you, too. My biggest threat is Jesse Smith. And what he does, he's one of the best in the world. He does one style incredibly well. But I'm really great at four to five different styles. And to become an ink master, you have to be versatile. Steve. I like the way you layer. You can see it in the undertones. You do a really dark area, almost a field of black, but then you still get this darker layer behind it where you really add the texture and you really make those little pits. I got one of the canvases that I actually recognized. Does it look like a frog? I'm very critical of Yoda. Your sketch was dead on, which was awesome. <laughs> so let's see what the tattoo baby's doing. Oh, cool. Yoda. I think that she actually got one of the easiest tattoos, but I don't know if she has what it takes to win the Star Wars challenge. This challenge like is awesome. Love Star Wars. Tattoo baby. Are you happy that you got this particular canvas? I haven't seen the movie, but one of the characters that I was most familiar with was this one. I was like, I hope I get the little green guy. <laughs> I felt like I had a lot of pressure. I'm doing something that I know nothing about, dealing with somebody who's an expert in it, and I just have to make sure that I give her a great tattoo. The contrast you put in this thing with the green and the purple, just that tiny little accent of purple under the collar, great way to bounce the color palette off of each other. I feel like you knocked off a lot of the big guys that underestimated you, and this is a big move for you. So keep the momentum. I've never actually done a real Japanese piece. This stuff's kind of fun. This particular challenge, I've decided to put my personality aside to create this piece so I can show the judges that I respect what they do. If I start putting googly eyes on this horse and buck teeth on the samurai chick, I know for a fact that Chris would flip his even though Jesse's a new school kid, he's hung around this long because his technique and his application are top notch. Jesse. Are you comfortable in the Japanese style? Not at all. This is my first one. This is definitely the most non-Jesse tattoo you've done. There's definitely a lot of elements that you hit really nicely. Jewel kind of look in the top of the armor, the little details inside the drapery and the clothes, the fabric really sets it apart and gives it that life. This was very refreshing for me to see today. It's the closest tattoo to traditional Japanese that I've seen all night. Could be the tattoo of the day. This is definitely one of my favorite tattoos. I like that he went true to Japanese tattooing and really did his homework. Seeing him do it extremely clean, that says a lot about him. Thank you. Now that I got my human canvas in a different direction, I'm feeling good. I'm spending a ton of time on the hair to show super dimension. They want detail, they want line work, they want shadows. I'm doing everything I can do to show that I'm an ink master. That's gonna be badass. Yeah. Steve. This tattoo is solid. It has all the right skin breaks. This is what I want to see. This one's much better than the last one. The detail is unbelievable. The way the shoulder is turned and you kept it light up in the front, you really got dimension. This is exactly why I am the way I am. When I give you so much it's because you can do this. Maybe some of my ideas don't work as well as others, but some of them you just have such a solid idea and it works. Great job. Thank you. So are you partial to color black and white? My son's eyes are just such a killer blue. We have to do it in color. OK. If I was the only color portrait and I nailed it, that would be amazing. You do like killer color. But the guest judge is a black and gray portrait master. Am I going to be shooting myself in the foot if I do this in color? This is a huge risk. I just see this bright, vibrant, colorful kid. She wants it in color. Well, you want to win? I want to win. You trying to wow him? You trying to survive? Wow them. If you can pull off color and make it look real, that totally blows away black and gray. I want to give my client what she wants, but it's a huge risk. And the more that I think about it, the more nervous I get. I love it if I change your plan. Okay, <laughs> okay, all right. I would love to rock a colored portrait. Okay. But if I do that, all right, like we're gonna get room to do ass. I do colored portraits all the time, but the judges all love black and gray more than color. This is $100,000, and I would feel a lot more comfortable if we were doing this in black and gray. So are you cool with this direction? I mean, I don't mind it in black and white. I don't. You can still capture him in it. 
I'm going to duplicate this photo down to the very stitch in her child's shirt. I'm going to show the judges how precise I can be. Oh, Sarah, that's amazing. That's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Thank you so much. I absolutely love it. Sarah. Kids can be tricky. There's not a whole lot of wrinkles and dimensions. It doesn't necessarily have to be wrinkles in order to add character. Honestly, I kind of like doing kid portraits. This tattoo is amazing. The face, you nailed his character. The likeness is totally there. I like how you went with the shadow underneath the chin. You went a little bit lighter. It kind of brings out the edge of the chin, which was a good call. It's awesome. I love the hair because I love the dimension. I love the layers. It literally looks like you can see the kid's haircut. You definitely pulled it back together. It's nice to see people take a hard shot, come back, and you have. When you take a lump, you have to man up, accept what you did, move on, and never do it again. This is definitely your best tattoo up here. Thank you, guys. Definitely go big or go home. I want to show that I can do a beautiful portrait down to as creepy and as dark as you want to go and make them blend in the transition and be beautiful. You ready to rock? Let's do this. Steve, you're up first. I feel like it's finished. I nailed it exactly the way I want it to look. I wanted to show contrast because I got yelled at my contrast tattoo. I wanted to show everything that I do well. I think the shoulders show this part of the skull instead of the, the full part. Um, I didn't want to go too high up on his neck. I think it, I love it. It's, it's me. It's his personality and mine together. It's a, I think I love it. Steve, the layering on this thing's incredible. Thank you. You know, you, you were able to go in and create different layers of black to gray and show a great transition. This is where you come from. If we're going to give you free reign, this is where you're going to go. Overall, man, 24-hour tattoo. Great job. Thanks. Thank right out, Steve. Thank, thank you very much, man. Thank you. What the f is going on? There's barbed wire, there's bars. We're actually at a prison. Let's go keep the noise down. Walk this way. Yes, sir. I'm in hell. I've been to jail before. It's a bad place. It's not fun. I'm not happy. Today, you needed the precision of a surgeon to create realistic anatomical tattoos. Craig's was a great example of precision. That's one of the tops of damn my opinion, too. He paid attention to small details and got it right. This is what you guys are competing against. And this is what we compare all of your muscle tissue to. At the end of the day, this is what you're fighting, not me. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Craig. We felt like you did the best job. The color, how it popped out all the way to the detail. Congratulations, man. Thank you very much. Craig, you won the flash challenge. You now have the power to assign all the human canvases. But choose carefully. Josh should be nervous. He's established himself as that guy. Worst tattoo that comes up, give it to Josh. I'm here to play the game, and that's what everybody should be doing. Everybody should be playing the game. Joshua. Celtic starfish on her ribs. She's perfect for Josh. I don't mind tattooing rib cages. Craig was trying to give me a challenge in this one, but it's going to work to my advantage. So I think I want something a little bit more intricate. All right. Do you like this? The lines are too far apart for me. OK. Let's see. Craig was trying to give me a challenge in this one, but I'm so good at dealing with people, it's going to bite him in the ass. Right now, I'm just kind of like going, OK, here's what she likes, here's what she doesn't like, so I can make sure I design something you're going to love. My canvas, she wants a Celtic starfish on her side. It's really, really nice and fits you really well. I like it a lot. I'm going to focus on making sure that all my lines are absolutely perfect. How are you doing here, Mr. Quiet Machines? My back hurts. Uh -huh. I ran like a 1,000 lines. Right. <laughs> That's about my day. Dude, maybe you should go and finish your tattoo. Looks wonderful. What a sweetheart. Joshua. I have one big problem with this tattoo. Okay. It wasn't the first one of the day so that I could reference your tattoo with everybody else's. Big problem. This is a perfect goddamn outline. It's consistently the same width all the way throughout the tattoo. It's very clean on one of the hardest surfaces. There was a statement made by Jimmy that I can't draw. I drew this goddamn thing. So, good for you. Thank you. Even better. I want a new school female, pigtails, old western style. He wants it new school. I am like, damn, that's the one I want. Jimmy. I'm going to hook that thing up. Tattoo Baby throws me a 
phone. This one is awesome. I feel like I could really start to shine. What do you think? I love it. Good. The canvas that I got actually let me draw my style of artwork. I'm finally doing a new school tattoo. I like her tattoo too. That's a good touch. Banging this out. Jimmy. My favorite part of the tattoo is the little sugar skull on the shoulder. That is awesome. It's those little areas of greatness that give us the full confidence to go, this guy knows his Appreciate you guys' time. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jimmy. Thank you guys. Congratulations, man. You came out and you showed how versatile you are. Really nice job. Thank you. I'm definitely feeling really confident going into this tattoo. Photorealism is one of my specialties. Go back this a little bit. There you go. I'm basically kicking some ass and showing the detail and the dimension. A lot of the people are like, oh, I can do photorealism. I don't think uh, half of them here really can do it. Joey. The darkness and the richness in this really gives you the sense of dimension. Great job, man. It's good to see somebody shine. You must be able to tattoo uniform lines, shading, and color, giving your design a harmonious look. There's no better test of consistency than an image so iconic that any inconsistency will be obvious. Comic book characters. Founded in 1934, DC Comics is home to the world's greatest superheroes, like the Green Lantern, Superman, and Wonder Woman, and of course, Batman. But this week, you won't be tattooing a superhero. You must tattoo a super villain. Let's meet your canvases. Joey. Yes. I definitely want to try and beat Jimmy. He sneaked out the win last time. It's almost like traditional, which is kind of the cool part of this challenge. I need to be consistent in reproducing the actual comic reference. Definitely have to change these needles out to something smaller just to do what we're doing. If I can nail this tattoo, then I might have a chance to win. Your attention to detail, wow factor for me. Along the legs, along the sides, to see you ink on your canvas with the scissor hatching, the style that I'm familiar with from comic books, I was pretty impressed, because it's hard enough to do it on paper, and you're pulling it off on skin. I didn't really know until I started how much time that was going to take. Catwoman just came out spectacular. The playfulness, the danger, the pose, he captures everything. Just the black that he had in it with his line work makes it a real bang-up tattoo. Thank you. To not sound too much like a big tattoo nerd, my favorite thing about this photo is all these details in the wrinkles and the teeth and the white highlights. Perfect. This is me perfect. The detail and resolution on this picture is so good that I know I can knock this out. Uh, no turning back. I told Joshua that I was better than him. This is my chance to really prove it. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. How did you feel when you found out that the challenge was portraits? Portraits is something that I do a lot at home. I've had chances where I've shown stuff that I like to do and I haven't like nailed it. So I really wanted to redeem myself. As far as the accuracy on the tattoos, it totally looks like the guy. The only criticism I have is the right eye, a little bit darker in the photo, but you put that highlight in there and that's your own artistic license that makes the tattoo even look better. Just those little things that you can do as a tattooist to add to something that's a photo, it makes it more dynamic. In the collar of the shirt itself, the whole real photo is dark and you put the little highlights in to really capture the essence. The extra added touches that you gave to this tattoo really brought your tattoo to life and this is the reason that it was hard to see you go, oh, well, I want to get out of here. This is what people are going to remember. If you go out on your shield, at least you went out like this. All right. Thank you. I have 35 hours. This is my time to shine. Give me the title. You ready to do this? Yeah. I'm not supposed to be open to anything, so I'm concerned that I'm going to get a tattoo I don't want. That's the drawing I did. My tattoo is a realistic underwater scene with a mermaid. That's what I'm going for is that big wow factor. Crazy, yeah, I gotta wonder what the other people are doing, you know? I put everything I had into this tattoo. I came here to compete, and I came here to win the money. It's the best tattoo I've ever seen. Mark my words, I'm gonna be the next Ink Master. Joey, you're up next. Joey, looking at this tattoo, man, you put a lot of time and effort into doing this. A lot of the underwater scenes that I did research, that that background is just one shade off, and I did try and go back in and add some black just to add the depth so it looked like she was close and it was farther away. This tattoo is a beautiful tattoo. This is crazy. Hope you brought your A game, bro. I've seen them three judges standing up there and I'm completely scared.
Atlas. Welcome, artists. You have a tough road ahead of you. Today, you must create an aquatic tattoo. From coral and plants to fish, bubbles, sharks, and mermaids, aquatic tattoos are composed of a complex arrangement of many smaller elements. I definitely have wind in my sails, winning the flash challenge. I know the judges got their eye on me. I know I picked one of the strongest pieces up there. I couldn't ask for a better canvas, bro. It's just an excellent. I'm not even thinking like it's a competition right now. I'm thinking that I'm doing the best tattoo of my career. Scott, you're up first. I love the dark rings that you do through the background. This is not senseless background. This is background that means something, and this is a tattoo that we'd love to see come out of Ink Master. Thank you. You must tattoo color portraits of characters who are recognizable to millions of fans all over the world. X-Men. Sweet. Oh. I can't screw this up. Or fans around the world are gonna go, what the hell did you just do? I am so focused, there is no way that Maddie's gonna beat me. It's awesome, man. If he wins, he can validate his skill. If I win, you know, it's cool. I used to get in a lot of fights. By the time I was 21, I got in a really bad fight. I put a guy in the hospital. I could have killed him. Finding tattooing saved my life. It's bold, man. I dig it. I've done over 100 color portraits in my career. Not everybody knows how to do a color portrait. This is something that I know how to do. People say, you know, like, you've never done portraits. And I'm thinking, in the last three seasons, they've always done portraits. You had to assume that you were going to be doing a portrait. This is my specialty. I know I'm going to win this challenge. Like, how could you come into a competition like this and not get your together? There's one more person we'd like to have check out your portraits. He's the ultimate authority in these characters because he plays one of them. Tony, Emmy, and Golden Globe winning actor, Hugh Jackman. Hey, guys. Hugh is here to check out your work and help us choose the winner. And we will start with Sausage. Hey, Sausage. Wow. That is fantastic. Wow. Holy mackerel, that is really incredible. You might enjoy this one. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Wow, there's a lot of work going into that. That is fantastic. I would like to get a gargoyle on this portion of my body. Can you see the canvas? Yeah. Blue skin, weight loss. Just sit normal, don't suck it in. Not sucking it in. No way. Sausage. Why me? How in the hell am I going to take this canvas, put on a winning piece? This skin is not tattooable. What are your thoughts, bro? This is not going to work. I'm really disappointed because I really wanted that pillar. Just the pillar, or is it everything else, too? My canvas doesn't want to work with me. He doesn't give a This is not what we discussed at all. It is what we discussed. No, it's not. not the... It's not what Here, we discussed I'll get the, at all. I'll get this. this is not the picture. That is. No, it's not. I will tattoo myself to stay in this competition, but the last thing I'm going to tattoo on myself is a demon. Being a new man of faith, that goes against my religious beliefs. When I look up pillar, there's this kind of pillar. Is this what you're kind of hoping for then, too? I was kind of hoping that you would do it. I can't let him walk out the door. The guys that were up there today, they're gunning for the top people. As much as they sit here and try to throw me under the bus, I'm going to battle my way to win. Mm -hmm. There's a couple bullies that kind of feel that if they give me enough maybe I'll just trip and then I'll fall. But they don't realize that my history has been to take whatever is given to me and absolutely crush it. Karma's a bitch. Sausage. I gotta admit, when he said gargoyle, I kind of rolled my eyes like, oh boy. It just sounds so corny. When I saw it, I was pretty much blown away. There's a lot of layers to it, and it looks like stone, but it has movement and action, and the perspective is odd and different. It's pretty amazing. Thank you. The dynamic hand that you have in the foreground is a really nice touch. All that really heavy shading, but with the nice skin breaks, makes it very legible. It doesn't get lost in the background. Overall, man, it's a good job. Sounds like Halo and Scott's attempt at throwing you under the bus may have backfired, huh? I'm hoping so. Well done, man. Thank you. Competition's getting tight, and I really need to stay in the top. I want to outperform everybody today. I'm the only one doing color, and I think that's going to give me the edge. Today, we asked you to show detail by tattooing warriors. Maddie, let's 
start with you. Every detail in the actual choice of the way that the design was put together has a great look to it. The subtle little details, the cut in the eye, the scar, and the way that the severed head's eyes are rolled up in his head with the open mouth, it's just very dynamic. The detail on the helmet is great, and then you go into the face, you see the face is even better. I love it, man. I wish that was my leg. Thank you. Some of the most meaningful tattoos celebrate a personal victory. One of the greatest triumphs is surviving cancer. Your canvases today have all survived one of the deadliest forms, breast cancer. Many of them beat cancer by having a mastectomy to remove the breast, but the scars remain. And these scars are in a very sensitive area. So it's even more challenging to pull off a flawless tattoo, but that's exactly what you must do for these canvases. My idea was a um, dandelion on the side, blowing across, transforming into butterflies. I hope that getting this tattoo is really going to make me feel like I have my life back. Cancer doesn't own me. I'm just nervous. I know, I know it's very <laughs> scary. You just put your faith in me. I'm gonna give you a beautiful tattoo. It's gonna be a breeze. Like say we're working right in here. Your scar, you won't even see it. Okay, sounds great. I wanted to get the cross on the one side because my mom died from breast cancer, and then flowers on the other side. I want a flowering vine right. across the whole chest. Are you trying to go where the nipples would tend to be? Yes, or yes. Okay. I feel like a war went on in my chest. This is like a battlefield, and I would rather have something beautiful. Still okay? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be sitting for six hours. No, I did chemo. I can do this. I've got a lot of work in a short amount of time to do it. I have absolutely no wiggle room in this. It's nice that there's survivors like you that can go out there and go like, look, it's not the end of the world. To have that positive spin, I think, is really, really cool. All right, so go ahead and take a look. I don't know, do you think that's good? I do, I mean, let me take a better look at it. This is not going well. I am running out of time. Four hours left, everybody. The biggest challenge is going to be to make sure that she gets exactly what she wants and that she feels beautiful. Last challenge, I was in the bottom and I just squeaked by. I have no choice but to do a perfect tattoo so I can make it to the final three. I can't believe how well you're sitting. Thank you again. I definitely like this. Okay, you like the but, flow, but yeah, just too many. Don't, yeah, don't, but I don't know how to make it more sparse. I just need to do a tattoo today. I think it's really good. I think we can commit to that as long as you feel it. Yeah, I'm good. I have to win this. I'm gonna make sure that all the skills that judges are looking for today, they can see within this tattoo. No one is taking that spot in the live finale from me. Two hours remain, two more hours. Scars and no nipples. You just don't feel feminine. So I, I think the tattoo is gonna bring back that feminine feeling for me. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. I've been more nitpicky with this than any flower I've ever done in my whole life. <laughs> Pretty? Yeah. You okay? I love the highlights. It definitely could be any artist going home, but I believe that I earned my spot in the finale today. It is perfect. Oh my god. This is the battle I've been waiting for my whole life. That title is mine. We're gonna do the heart really anatomic, like it's bloody and shiny and red. This tattoo screams Scott Marshall. It's gonna be the boldest tattoo that the judges have ever seen. You ready? Yep. All right, we're done. Good God, it looks awesome. <laughs> No one is going to take that title away from me. I you know? love the amount of color you put into it. Tell us about this, Scott. Being that my tattoo was on a woman, I wanted to give her something that she could relate to. Love and heartache. 
My tattoo is feminine and beautiful, but it still shows my style. When I made the composition, I wanted it to breathe. So because I did so much color in it, that I wanted it to just fade out and have a nice flow. And if you looked at the moths and the snakes and all that ominous death in the back of her face, it's all flowing up towards the heart, bringing the priority to the, to the heart, you know? The thing about this tattoo is that if you look at any of your tattoos through the competition, you look at this, this is just another tattoo that you did, but it's 35 hours. But overall, the flow of this tattoo and the way it rides the actual body and the color saturation that you have in here, nobody can question that. The hand and the heart is what sticks out to us for sure. We love it. It's cracking, yo. Oh, it's racing a mile a minute right now. Welcome to Grand Central Terminal in the heart of New York City. Over a million people pass through here every day, but today, only one of them matters, your rival. Yeah, man, that was freaking awesome. This tattoo's turning out exactly how I planned. I'm so ecstatic, I'd wear this myself in a heartbeat. I am here to prove to the world and everybody in this competition that I'm an amazing Japanese-style tattoo artist, and I'd better take this one home. Looks good, dude. The only one I see right now is right, right there, and then right where? this right where that almost meets the face. Really, is Josh going to come over and try to give me advice on Japanese challenge day? I think not. I've got this covered, buddy. Thanks, but no thanks. Jason. It's definitely my favorite tattoo I've ever seen you do. So now it's time to poll the judges and determine tattoo of the day. Hands down, for me, Jason took this one. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jason. Yeah. Finally, finally. This is my chance to take Emily down. I want to beat her more than anybody. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yours looks way better. Working in the tattooing industry, I've always been misjudged and underestimated as a female Native American lesbian. I want to prove to anyone who's ever doubted me and told me no, that I can't do this. Look where I am right now. Look where I am today. Taisha, you went up against Emily. How'd you feel about that? She just doesn't know when to stop running her mouth. Well, this time you guys were able to have a head-to-head -head competition, maybe squash that. I'm really into the way that you were able to get dimension with this shading on the side of its face. The light, smooth blends and fades that we see on this tattoo separate you from a lot of people in here today. This is a great day for you. The canvases would choose skulls randomly to determine the teams. Uh, randomly. Randomly. I don't know who I'm going to get stuck with. This could be a disaster. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Canvases, one by one, please choose three skulls. Angel. Emily. <laughs> Josh. Oh. Are you I'm now sandwiched between a real bitch and someone with an ego that needs a two-way door to get through. That's a train wreck, man. Today, your fundamentals were put to the test, tattooing American traditional as a team. Josh, Emily, and Angel, let's start with you. The fundamentals in this tattoo were definitely hit. It's very smooth. The line work on it is flawless. And overall, I think it's a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Peace there, bro. I'm trying to shut some people up. I am so tired of everybody telling me that I can't do a rib tattoo. That's not something that I'm afraid of. I am doing the biggest tattoo possible on this guy's side. Normally, I would have told you all this stuff and talked you out of it, but not today. This is my chance to shut up all the haters. I'm really going to prove a point. I can't give them any reason whatsoever to not give me the title. Gosh. You hit gradation out of the park. The front leg on this tattoo is beautiful. To me, that's your highlight of the whole tattoo. To be honest, it doesn't look that far from my shading. My only complaint is that it's not on my ribs. What's going on? You nervous? No. Are you? <laughs> going head to head with Chris is a joke. I could set you blindfolded and still beat this guy. Oh, kids these days, man. Clean.
you went head to head against Chris. Lining things up in the center of anybody's spine is very tough. And by doing this stylized version of it, you set yourself up never to fail. Choices are what win this competition, and you're making good ones. Thank you. Today, you must all tattoo the same subject on the same body part. You must tattoo a skull on your canvas's head. Oh. Where do you want the tattoo to be? Right in the back of the head. Well, the problem is you have a ridge right here. My canvas has a huge roll in the back of his neck, and that's going to make it really difficult for me to line up the skull. So if I could put somehow the bridge of the nose on that? Placement is everything today. I have to somehow fit the roll into my design. So are you cool if we do a hair up? I, I, I would like the whole skull. It's going to be a lot tougher than I thought. Mentally ready for this, right? Yes. Yeah. Whatever we do, just don't move. You and uh, Eric kind of did the same tattoo. You guys use the same stencil? It doesn't even matter if Don looked at my design, because I know he's not going to be able to execute it nearly as cleanly as I do. Don just signed his own death warrant by doing this tattoo. It just looks like Yeah, that tops a <laughs> Ooh, Yes, it is. Clean, let's start with you. I really like the fact that you took the time to add all kinds of different little details and intricate design elements. You added so much to this design to make it really unique and cool. Thank you. Eric. The eyes are the single best part of this tattoo because people always say that they have eyes in the back of their head. He literally has them tattooed on the back of his head. It's a pretty solid tattoo. The stakes are so high right now, there's five of us left. So I'm gonna make this most badass Grim Reaper you ever did see. Brad, I don't ever get to do black and gray, so it's fun. Yeah, I like doing stuff like this. I'm bringing a lot of creativity to this design. I have the perfect contrast, the perfect composition. I'm gonna win. How did you land on this view? She wanted something more creative, so I thought, well, let's just make it look like it just took somebody's soul and it's reveling in the power of that. You took a big risk on the angle of that skull, but you really nailed the contrast with that soul escaping. It breaks it up really well, and then you have some really dense, dark areas that make it work with that soft shadow coming through. I think you did a great job. I'm really impressed. It's a beautiful tattoo. It's telling a creative story. You thought about what the Green Reaper was and reaping your soul, and you hit the nail on the head with the creativeness. Thank you so much. I am way more versatile than Eric and Jason put together. That title is mine. There it is. I love it. All right, let's do it. This is the largest color realism tattoo I've ever done, but I'm going to kill it. Clean, come on down, man. I was doing photo realism. You know, my guy's a mechanic, and you know, I'm a gearhead, and uh, we just decided to do some hot rod stuff and a uh, super badass skull. I actually uh, used the photograph that I took of the images to uh, translate them to the skin. You, as always, did a very strong, solid application. It has a strong 90s new school feel to me, but you did pull off a lot of tricks in the tools. But I do feel like it is a very strong tattoo for you. Go well, check it out. I kept it really fun, really playful. Clean and Eric thought that they would trip me up by giving me new school, but I'm still going to infuse my own style into this tattoo. I'm going to knock this thing out of the park. Ready? Mm -hmm. Girl, you ready for some more work or what? You know, I just feel like at this point, I'm not really wanting to continue on with the tattoo. Who starts a 35 hour back piece and doesn't go through with it? I didn't There's have time to think about it. dollars on the line, girl. I, I mean, you know, I you're killing me right now. And I finally get here and it's like, I got all this on the line. I, just, I don't know what to do, man. My anxiety is on level 11 right now. Hey, Dave. Got a little bit of a snack here. You're telling me, dude. I feel like I'm having a panic attack. Nice to meet you. So glad to meet you. You ready for a tattoo Thank today? You. Wow, this is great. I think we got a winner here. Yeah, this is definitely awesome. gonna win. That title is mine. All right, JCD, step on up. Let's see your tattoo. My canvas, I was given a new school, and I still wanted to add some of my Japanese elements to it. But uh, I wanted to do something positive. You know, I wanted to do something positive that had a kind of a snapshot of a young child's imagination to it. Second time you had to outline that thing, right? Yeah. All right, buddy. Thank you. Let's hear from Chris. 
Now, Jason, I think you really crammed a lot of work into your client's back piece. The bottom looks solid, it looks bright, it looks like you put a lot of time into it. I needed all that in there to tell the story. All right, Jason, thank you very much. To win the title of Ink Master, you must defeat every artist in this competition. Good luck. Little the textures in the glass and everything. We're going for a marbly broken glass effect in here. Chris and Eric put me head to head against Dave Clark. So I guess they want Dave Clark gone right now. I grew up in a church. I've made stained glass. They are not gonna know what hit them. I have several ministers in my family that's kind of the family business. When I decided to become a tattooist, I knew that I would have some resistance. It made me overachieve. I'm not gonna be a tattooist. I'm gonna be the best tattooist in the whole world. St. Mark, you took such an attention to detail with making these panes look like glass. And the little areas where you're showing that the lead is dimensional, killer take on this challenge. You guys started out in Georgia, right? Mm hmm I started in 95. And honestly, I had a lot of difficulty finding placement in life. I've been in trouble all of my life. Finding tattooing has just been the only escape from trouble that I've had. Two kids tried to rob me in front of my house, and I got shot. Bullet went through my hip and my spine. Getting shot was like the least of my concerns. The only thing I really cared about was I going to be able to tattoo. My doctor told me, like, you're lucky. I was in the hospital for like three days. Got back to work within four days. I definitely feel like I got a second chance to prove that I have what it takes to be here. I'm not willing to let that slip away. Craig. The crosshair pattern with these circles sits nicely on the body, and I just think it's one of the more creative, conceptual ideas that we've seen today. I wasn't planning on going home today. Overall, man, the circles with the plane coming out of the circles gives it a very cool, old, war and propaganda feel. It shows a lot of artistic creativity. This is a very competitive, strong way to come out and try to play the game. Thank you. Dave and Marissa gave me a fantastic canvas. A lot of strategy on choosing what to do and having that skull pick is really important. You know, like go big or go home. This is exactly where I wanted to be in this competition. This is an easy win. Chris. His face shape, everything looks the way it's supposed to be. The saturation looks great. It's a tremendous size tattoo for the time you were allotted. This is the type of tattoo I expected to see. Lots of movement, exactly what we're looking for. Thank you guys. with my fine line. Like some brush strokes. My strategy for the tattoo is to do all the brush strokes on it and make it look like it's old and weathered. It'll be really painterly when I'm done. Tyler, you went head to head with Craig. If you look at the original painting, there's tiny little white scratchy lines in the face and you brought those over to the tattoo in a way that's really well done. Great use of consistency there. It's really hard to get the expression of that face, and you found a way to do it, which is what the most important thing is in this painting, so well done. Thanks, guys. I have to put this on in pieces. It's just not gonna go on all at once. This is super stressful. If this design's off just by a hair, it's gonna be totally obvious. Hang your head off the table. And let me see if I can get the area a little flatter for me. I'm willing to spend extra time in the placement just to make sure it's perfect. Lean forward like this real quick. It's just not lined up with your chest. If I pull this thing off perfect, I'm so gonna have the win. Duffy. It's pretty great. Great, perfect. Why are you crying? God, it's just a good feeling. Come on, lady. This is what it's all about, right? Like, this is why you came. They're definitely happy tears. I needed it. Beautiful tattoo. Thanks. I believe I'm the only one doing full color. Full color. Every You're going color. full color. Wow. 100%. First tap, man. I got to go all the way, right? That's what I hear. Man, this challenge is about active military guys. They're about to get deployed. I've been there where those kids are going to go. I can imagine what my dad went through when I got deployed. A lot of people just don't understand what it's like to go do something traumatic. This is my day. 
Everything about this is all Chris Blinston. Chris. When Cruzman gave you this canvas, what was your feeling? I can't believe that he handed me the color portrait. I mean, that's like handing me a gold medal. When I look at the tattoo, I love it. Really a beautiful tattoo. Thank you. Today is a you know, special day with the military guys, and every one of them is going to deploy. I've been there. 20 years ago, my 11-man team was sent to Bosnia as part of a special operations Marine Expeditionary Unit. There was uh, no stores, no way to buy gifts. And so I ended up drawing a lot of portraits and uh, pictures of kids and family members and all that. Well, Chris, I think you did an amazing job. It's definitely bulletproof. It is definitely solid. The attention to detail in the clothing and the fabric in the flag set this thing off. And this thing's strong, man. Cruzman, let's see your master canvas, buddy. Drop it like it's hot. Tell us about it. It's not what I said, but OK. <laughs> Tell us about your tattoo, buddy. <clears throat> well, I decided to go with an American traditional tattoo because I feel like at this point in the game, it would have been foolish for me to go with something I wasn't familiar with. These tattoos stand the test of time. This is a hand-drawn tattoo. It's not a Google image. <laughs> uh, it's built to last, man, and I'm super pumped on this thing. I'd wear it myself. Well, Cruzman, I think one thing that's definitely certain here is you redeemed all the people that failed throughout the competitions in this category. You came out, you came strong with real strong traditional elements. It is busy, man. You crammed as much as you could in there, but it's bulletproof, and it is a solid tattoo. Your tattoo here is amazing. You went the extra mile with adding the flames. Technically, you obviously know what you're doing. Super smooth, super saturated. The outlines are great. The transition is really good. Thank you. This week, we're going directly into an elimination tattoo. Whoa. You are being tested on legibility. If you cannot register what a tattoo is within three seconds, technically, it's wrong. You must tattoo a style that every master should excel at and every apprentice must conquer. American traditional. We are surrounded by authentic airplanes from World War I and World War II. During that time, the American traditional style became increasingly popular. Colors were limited, so tattooers relied on heavy use of black to create strong contrast. This is what I've been doing for the past 20 years, and I'm really good at it. Richard Sell is a tattooed legend. I'm the only one in this group that's going to give him what he wants to see. Once again, for this elimination tattoo, you will be competing head to head with your master or apprentice, tattooing the same subject. Head back to the shop and get ready to tattoo. This week, you had one more chance to battle your master or apprentice head to head to prove which of you is the best. One of you will win and one of you will lose. Chris, you went head to head with Tyler. The way the banners kind of dribble off kind of bugs me. Banners should rise from left to right the other way. I will say that it does have a traditional feel. It is bright, and it's a striking tattoo. If I go strictly on legibility, I'm going to go for Tyler. If I'm going to go for tough traditional, I'm going to go for Chris. 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 Winner of this head-to-head -head challenge is Chris. Welcome to the elimination tattoo. As you're learning in this competition, the slightest misstep could cost you your shot at $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and most importantly, the title of Ink Master. And this week, we're testing contrast. Contrast is the ability to use lights and darks or opposing colors to really make your design pop. Today, you must create a stained glass tattoo. What the f is a stained glass tattoo? I've never done a stained glass tattoo in the 17 years that I've been tattooing. This popular style consists of brightly colored images broken up by black lines to mimic the look of actual stained glass. 
these dumb boys are bugging over stained glass tattoos, grow a pair of balls and just tattoo. In this elimination tattoo, you must tattoo the same subject head to head against another artist. Another head to head. You will be directly compared in critique. One of you will win and one of you will lose. Damn. Color contrast, this is what I do really well. There's not one person that I'd be worried about going head to head with. You'll have six hours to create a stained glass tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. Yeah, lighthouse, right? Oh, yeah. With stained glass tattoos, strong black outlines are going to be a 100% necessity and will add to the contrast. Because it's stained glass, it's more geometric. If these artists don't depict the proper contrast, it just feels more like color by numbers. On the board, okay. I think I'm gonna stick with some turquoises and greens. I specialize in saturating. I specialize in bright colors. This is right down my alley. I decided to go head to head with MV to play the game. I don't think he's really been challenged too much. And MV's a banded artist. You're looking for Ink Master, right? I know I won this challenge just because I'm already in MV's head. I got him rattled. I'm putting the nail in your coffin right now. How's that look? Good. We all love a pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> Today, you had to use contrast to make vibrant stained glass tattoos. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist, and we will directly compare your work. Chris, you went head to head with MV. I think she's beautiful. I really love the pose. This is like a nice, bright color bomb tattoo that really shows a lot of contrast. Just in your depth of shading, did a great job getting this color in there solid. Thanks, guys. I feel like they're both dynamic images, but Chris's color blends and his color saturation are top notch. I have to go with Chris. Winner of the head-to-head -head challenge is Chris. Congratulations. OK, artists, you have six hours to show detail with Egyptian tattoos. And your time begins now. Woo! Let's do it. Yep, let's go. What you do? What? Eric gave me the design and he put me up against Chris, who's been doing this for a long time. I don't even know what the to do here. I hate not having enough time to like get something drawn that I like. Don't cry. Don't freak out. I don't get it. Eric should be trying to hook me up since he's my mentor, but he just threw me under the bus. You get chance to talk to Marissa. She's lost her mind, huh? There's no crying and tattooing. Get your head straight. If you're not gonna be able to battle against me, then go home. This is gonna get a little rough back here, right? I'm finishing this white, and then we're gonna go blast some little details. You know, St. Mark, I almost have to thank you for giving me this skull pick. You're playing right into my strategy. I've already put MV down one time. I didn't knock him out of the competition. I've got a second chance. MV, I'm totally focused on you. I'm coming after you. Today, you had to create intricately detailed Egyptian tattoos. Each of you tattooed against two other artists and we will directly compare your work. One artist will win, two artists will lose. Chris. I love this tattoo. It just looks like the Sphinx as we know it today. The little tricks that you use to create the textures in the bricks to create the uneven, weather-worn areas in the chest are fantastic ways to show detail. It's just solid, strong plan and strong craftsmanship. Thank you, guys. Chris's tattoo just really stands out. Chris? Chris. Congratulations, man. This week, we're testing ingenuity. Ingenuity in a tattoo is using a design in a creative way to work well on the body and be visually appealing. Today, you must find a unique way to use your canvas's anatomy to make your tattoo come to life. What? What does that mean? From armpits to belly buttons to a fist or a foot, you must work with the shape and movement of that body part to create an illusion. Like, seriously? You'll have six hours to use ingenuity to fully transform your canvas's body part. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. I'm gonna go ahead and put the stencil on you. In order to achieve an optical illusion tattoo properly, you're gonna really have to know the anatomy and dynamics of the image that you're tattooing and the body part that you're placing it on. And lift. Dude, that's perfect on the first try. If you're not ingenious doing these tattoos, you will not succeed. Hi. Hi. I'm Chris. Brandy. So originally I had drawn up a Medusa right for the other girl, kind of tweaked it up to make it work. How do you feel about the same concept? Not my style. I'm thinking, Water goddess, like mermaid. Okay, gotcha. 
All right. I just drew for three hours for the Medusa. I'm meeting my new canvas, and she wants a water goddess or a mermaid. Another three hours of drawing. After he sees what I'm doing, he's going to try to, like, overshoot it. He could try to go bigger, even. My head's all screwed up. I'm burnt. I'm spent. Uh. So that would be like the general idea. And we'll start some seashell. OK, awesome. I finally got the water goddess drawn. We're ready to tattoo. Mentally prepared for six hours, OK? The goal is to finish and win. That's it. Chris doesn't get discouraged easily. If anything, he's going to try harder to beat St. Mark out and hopefully just kicks his ass. You think I'm rattled because of this? I'm a Marine. I'm going to adapt. I'm going to overcome this one. I'm going to give her a fantastic tattoo. St. Mark, you have nothing on me, and I'm going to beat you in this challenge. Gotta hang with me, okay? I'm trying. Today, you had to use ingenuity to come up with a clever way to transform your canvas's body part. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist. One of you will win, and one of you will lose. Chris, I really like this tattoo. I think that it's really dynamic and beautiful. Your palette is excellent. It absolutely hits the challenge in terms of making this girl's ass crack into the cleavage of this sea goddess. It is a solid, strong, badass tattoo. I mean, I'm a sucker for a pretty lady, and I love all the detail. I think I'll lean to Chris. I'm leaning with Chris as well. The winner of this head-to-head -head battle is Chris. This week, we're testing saturation. All right. A saturated tattoo just looks more vibrant and colorful, and when it's not saturated, it looks hollow. You can see right through it. Today, you must tattoo the Roman god of the sea, Neptune. It's crazy. Neptune is a merman, tromping through the water with a crazy-ass lightning storm in the back. One little slip of an eye or a lip, and this is not going to meet the challenge. Good luck. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. We're going to do a really killer piece. Dave and Marissa gave me a fantastic canvas. A lot of strategy on choosing what to do and having that skull kick is really important. You know, like, go big or go home. This is exactly where I wanted to be in this competition. This is an easy win. Today, you had to use saturation to tattoo the Roman god of the sea, Neptune. Chris. Well, Chris, this is definitely one of the most dynamic layouts of the day. As far as the hair goes, it has that very Roman goddish kind of sculpted, statuesque outline to it. And his face shape, everything looks the way it's supposed to be. The saturation looks great. It's a tremendous size tattoo for the time you were allotted. This is the type of tattoo I expected to see. Lots of movement, exactly what we're looking for. Thank you, guys. Time to debate a win for the day. I like a lot of elements of Eric's tattoo. Really? I like the drawing, yeah. I like Chris's, it's bulletproof and saturation. And it's the most dynamic, I think. Final decision. Chris. Vote for Eric. I vote for Chris. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Chris. Thank you, guys. Today, you must tattoo an anatomical heart morph. Each canvas today wants an anatomical heart morphing into another image. Oh. You must use artistry to make the two images flow together perfectly. To win this competition, it's not enough to just be a technical tattooer. You must also have the artistry to draw appealing images. And these tattoos are a perfect test. Morph in the heart. Making two images merge together in the same tattoo is a very difficult thing. You really have to be able to make one flow seamlessly into the other. It's not something you can do unless you're able to draw. You'll have six hours to create an anatomical heart morph tattoo. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. Stay super still. Blending two images takes really strong artistry, and this is one of those challenges where if the drawing doesn't look good, the tattoo damn sure won't. We're literally at the halfway point. We started with 18. We're now at 9. All right, you ready? I'm ready. This is where the battle actually starts. Now any tattoo these guys do could either keep them or send them home. I'm excited about this one. Poor Duffy kind of just got stuck in the middle. Two amazing artists going head to head. At this point, it's the first time Craig has ever been challenged by a real tattoo artist. And I need to put him in his place. Coming for you, Craig. <laughs> oh, that is sick. Dude. Today, you had to create anatomical heart morph tattoos that show your artistry. Each of you tattooed against two other artists, and we will directly compare your work. One of you will win, and two of you will lose. 
Chris, you tattooed against Craig and Duffy. Your tattoo here is amazing. You went the extra mile with adding the flames. Technically, you obviously know what you're doing. Super smooth, super saturated. The outlines are great. The transition is really good. I look at these three tattoos, and I see incredible detail, incredible texture in Craig's tattoo. Just when I look at Chris's tattoo, it's just so night and day more dynamic. Chris. Chris. Winner of this head-to-head -head challenge is Chris. Congratulations, man. Today, you must tattoo a famous work of art. <sighs> Some of these will be really hard. Your canvases today all want a world-renowned painting permanently tattooed on their skin. From Starry Night to The Birth of Venus to The Scream, these paintings are some of the most recognizable in the world. Fine art paintings have hundreds of hours worth of layering of paint. Replicating that into a tattoo is a nightmare. You must perfectly replicate your painting down to the brushstroke, using consistency to capture the details and its overall essence. You'll have six hours to tattoo a famous work of art. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. Hi, how are you? Hi. Come on, let's go talk. Having to replicate any particular piece of art always shows consistency because you have the actual product and you have your replication. There's no room for self-interpretation. We are way behind. I mean, like, ridiculously behind. I'm going to switch to her. I'm going to try to get her done, and then we'll come back to the angels. This tattoo's huge. Man, this is horribly hard. I'm so pissed off about what Matt did, coming after my character and calling me names. If I don't finish this painting, going head to head against Matt, he's got me. He's knocked me out. And I can't have that. Cool. Cool? Like it? Love it. Chris had a hard time with this, but Matt's tattoo has the most busted face I've ever seen in my life. He did Ronald McDonald standing in a seashell that's not even finished. Today, you had to replicate a fine work of art. Chris, you went head to head with Matt. You did a nice job in terms of consistency. The placement of each one of these little flowers is spot on. But this tattoo has a largely unfinished feel to it. The weird way that you have three feet and then one foot just disappeared on an arm there is a little bit awkward. I had a tough canvas on this one. The quality that we're used to seeing you do, it's just not here. Between Chris and Matt, who's the winner here? I would give it to Chris. There's something about Matt's that just doesn't have the same degree of finish. If we're talking consistency, I got to give it to Chris. I got to go, Chris. The judges have decided the winner of the head-to-head -head battle is Chris. This week, we're testing precision. Precision is the use of accuracy to show perfect detail in a tattoo. If any little detail's a millimeter off, the tattoo is completely There is no tattoo that requires more precision than a portrait. Portraits have showed their ugly face in the building. Oh. If you don't use precision and put things where they're supposed to be, it's not going to look like that person. To tattoo an accurate portrait, you must capture the subject's likeness by precisely placing every single drop of ink. A facial feature even a millimeter out of place could change the appearance of your portrait entirely. I don't really do portraits because one little slip up, man, and you're gonna make your tattoo look like sloth from the Goonies, and that's the last thing I wanna do. Portraits are some of the most popular tattoos because canvases can have a loved one with them forever. For your canvases and subjects today, this is especially important. What? Because they are often separated by thousands of miles for long periods of time. They are all active military. Wow, awesome. And they are all about to be deployed. Oh, man. Serious. Portrait. Man, this is my day. Cruzman, you can throw anything you want at me. This is my style. I've got the win no matter what you give me. Guys, there's no liberties in this. These are accurate portraits. Your tattoo versus the picture side by side. No reason for changing anything. Make these things count because one of you guys is going home. You will have six hours to tattoo a precise portrait. Good luck. Hey, Dad. I'm Duffy. What a cool photo. <laughs> I believe I'm the only one doing full color. Full color? Every You're color. going full color, wow. 100%. First tap, man, I gotta go all the way, right? That's what I hear. Man, this challenge is about active military guys. They're about to get deployed. I've been there where those kids are gonna go. 
I can imagine what my dad went through when I got deployed. A lot of people just don't understand what it's like to go do something traumatic. This is my day. Everything about this is all Chris Blinston. I was pretty shocked he got this. I was surprised he gave it to me. I was surprised he chose the one for himself he did. I wasn't the least amount of face. Good point. If you're Good not point. a portrait tattooer, then it's the least amount of portrait you have to do. It's a lot of frosting. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Dude, that is so awesome, man. I can nail it, man. Yeah, my pleasure doing that for you, man. Dude. Today, you had to give canvases and their loved ones a way to stay together even when military service keeps them apart by tattooing a portrait. Chris. When Cruzman gave you this canvas, what was your feeling? I can't believe that he handed me the color portrait. I and mean, that's like handing me a gold medal. When I look at the tattoo, I love it. Really a beautiful tattoo. Thank you. Today is a you know, special day with the military guys. And every one of them is going to deploy. I've been there. 20 years ago, my 11-man team was sent to Bosnia as part of a special operations Marine Expeditionary Unit. There was uh, no stores, no way to buy gifts. And so I ended up drawing a lot of portraits and uh, pictures of kids and family members and all that. The guys would send them home for a presence. So they're the ones that encouraged me to tattoo. So coming here and giving these ladies and gentlemen the opportunity to have a keepsake right before they get deployed was special. Well, Chris, I think you did an amazing job. It's definitely bulletproof. It is definitely solid. The attention to detail in the clothing and the fabric in the flag set this thing off. And this thing's strong, man. The face itself looks like a poster to join the Navy. It could be his brother, his cousin, or anybody that looks a little similar. It looks like an illustration. It's a technically precise tattoo, but you're lacking the photorealism qualities to make it look like a photo. It's time to poll the judges and find out who had the best tattoo of the day. Matt's really captured the look of the person. But from a technical application standpoint, Chris's tattoo stands out. Chris made it so fresh and clean and vibrant. And just looking at fabric textures and qualities, holy f he killed it. Matt's black and gray is beautiful. The only fault I find in it is that she's older than she is in the photo. I'm a definite black and gray portrait guy, but I think I'm with Chris. My vote is with Chris. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Chris. Congratulations, man. Your call. What's the first elimination tattoo? The subject matter will be the seven deadly sins. Ooh. We'll be doing this in black and gray. We will be using our shaders only. I'm feeling really good about this tattoo, and whether I have a liner or not, I will deliver. Not around, huh? No, nah, man. I'm here for a hundred grand. They should be scared. Make it. The perfect placement of the highlight in the pupil, it works incredibly. Using a shader and pulling off all these tricks, I can't wait to see you work with a liner. Thanks. This week, you are calling the shots. Oh, okay, come on, let's do it. What is the next elimination tattoo? Today, we're gonna be tattooing my favorite, comic book characters. Oh, dude. The catch is, uh. You have to capture your canvas's likeness in the comic book character. Oh. What's your guy's special power? A uh, combat medic with angel wings to be able to fly in and rescue other soldiers. I've never taken my client and actually put them into the tattoo, but I'm an artist, so I don't have anything to worry about. The other artists should definitely not underestimate me. This one's gonna rock. Yes. It hits on all cylinders and it does exactly what the challenge is asking for. I was bullied my whole season and now my very first canvas is an anti-bullying woman. I'm extremely thankful for being given another chance to come out and Absolutely. prove my work because I know what kind of a competitor I am, but it's tough. You're golden. Sausage, let's start with you. 
What comic book character did your canvas want to be? A comic book character that helped identify with no bullying. Foreshortening in the tattoo speaks to the superhero. You give it that exaggerated hand and the punch. Overall, it's a sticker. You did a great job. Yeah. Anthony. What comic book character did your canvas want to be? He really wanted to portray a military medic. I like this tattoo a lot. The drawing is awesome. There's a couple areas where I really get that comic book feel from, and a lot of that is that hatching in some of the shading. And then in terms of just details, like particularly in the scarf, going over each one of those folds in that fabric is so intensely amazing. So far, I like everything I've seen you do. You've been consistent, that's what it takes. You just run this thing to the end. I think you did a hell of a job. I won the flash challenge, now I'm gonna win the elimination tattoo. I got so much detail on this tattoo, there is not one single person crazy enough to do it like I'm doing it. Give me any style, I'm gonna rock it. Clean. This tattoo has so much detail that it looks like I could take my finger and run it across and I would feel all the bumps and I would feel all the ridges. For me, I just wanted to have a fun day. Oh, I'm not known for new school, but you can't underestimate me. You kicking ass, taking names, or what? Trying to. I'm here to get you $100,000. You're doing great, man. Today, we're doing color theory and new school. That's what I'm known for. Clean. This thing's dynamic. The balance that you have here between hot and cold, the little green that you have underneath set off with the turquoises and aqua colors, and even the white that pops off the backside of the head. All great color theory, all great color use. Sausage. The little blue outline that you put around this character, it just pops off the skin really well. In a color theory challenge, it's little details like that that really makes this thing awesome. How are you? Good, how are you? All right. This gets hard when you're in a bad mood. Like, my arm just killing me. It sucks, dude. I'm really at the end of my rope with this aggressive, competitive, weird strategy and bizarre flash challenges. If this wasn't my style of tattooing today, I'd probably already have left. How do you feel about it? Super cool. Big. Next artist up is... Please stop me. Please stop me. Please stop me. Megan Jean. Damn. What's going on? I hate being here right now. I'm completely over it. I want to go home. I am tired of living here, and I'm tired of tattooing here. I don't appreciate that attitude, because we all have families at home. We all have lives at home. And I don't think that you're respectful to the people behind you or the people in front of you. If you don't want to be here, we can take out the worst tattoo of the day and send you home. Should I critique you, or are you done? You thrown in the towel? I'm not throwing the towel, I'm just crying. I figure I'm just gonna have a couple of days and then like, get over it. I was hoping that this would be the wind in your sail to move you forward, not for you to fall on your sword in front of us. It's tough. Thanks. Anthony. The subtle way that you put the timepiece into her cheek, I commend you on that. It's tasteful the way you did it. All the accents you did in the chin, very nice. The shading in this thing's great. The darkness in this thing's great. When this thing heals, it's gonna be awesome. Thank you. Welcome back, Jesse. This week, you are calling the shots. What's the next elimination tattoo? Today, we're gonna do black and gray portraits. convinced me from the get-go. As soon as I saw your Instagram, I'm like, this dude knows how to do portraits. Clean gives me George Washington. I did not want this, but I specialize in black and gray portraits. Looks great, man. Really smooth. Clean. What's your favorite style of tattoo? This right here. Portraits. I do it all the time. If there was a dictionary definition of a one-trick pony, it would have a picture of Jesse Smith. He might think that he went out and practiced portraits, but he just walked into a viper's den full of people who are killer at portraits. The trickiest part is just like all these little subtle wrinkles and stuff. Good. Gonna be pretty rad. This one. Oh. I need a little more contrast. This portrait has the least opportunity to shine because I'm working on dark skin. So the ability to create a massive amount of contrast is very difficult. It's the great thing about this show is it kind of highlights your weaknesses. But One Trick Pony has been the word that has stuck with me ever since I left season two. I came back to shut that down. Today, Jesse challenged you to tattoo a portrait of a political figure so well known that the tiniest flaw will be obvious. Jesse, let's begin with you. 
I really love the tattoo, and I honestly can't believe that this is the same artist that did Black and Gray that we saw in season two. I felt it necessary to prove to you guys that I could do a legitimate portrait. I completely applaud you for having the balls to come back in here and call this your shot. Great job. Christian. The actual way that you do the hair coming over that right ear, perfect. It's beautiful because her hair is really white and light over that ear. You nail it. This was a great attention to detail. You're definitely ahead of the curve when it comes to portraits. Anthony. It's evident that portraits are your thing. The softness of the shading where you can't see it start or finish is great. All in all, the interpretation on this, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the divot you have in the left side of the cheek, that tiny little highlight that you captured, it's a great job. Sausage. I love this tattoo. I love what you've done with the hair. I love the details in the tie. In this particular photo, his eyes are looking in slightly different directions, and you capture that in your tattoo. If you go down to that neck and you look at that highlight and the little white hairs that are showing off that, I didn't miss that. That thing's sick. Probably the best tattoo you've done here so far. Kristen, you're up first. Come on over. Tell us what you did here, man. This is more than just for the other, uh, all of you guys. I kind of actually specifically did this a little bit for you, Dave, because I feel like a lot of times you're a swing boat, they're more technical. Um, I wanted something that was really dark and beautiful. Um, and this is based on a classic ballet. It's about a young girl who is uh, chosen by her tribe uh, as a sacrifice, and she dances herself to death for the god of spring. Right as spring, right? Stravinsky? Yeah. Nice. Christian, I think the juxtaposition between the black and gray and the color is really nice. I also love the way that you have the silhouetted figures dancing behind to make those roses come forward. It's really great play with dark and light. I think you did great. Thank you. Let's take a look, man. What do you got there, bud? Talk to us. Tell us about your tattoo, man. Uh, she's a singer, so I really wanted to just kind of give her something that she would love, and you know, she really loves music, and. I just made it 100% Clean Rock One style. Right on. Overall, it's a beautiful sleeve. Anthony, come on down. Tell us about this, man. So going up against these guys, yeah. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't slack. You know, I really had to be strategic, competitive. I wanted to represent where I was raised and being brought up by a single mom. The wolf actually represents my character kind of throughout the season, observing everything and planning my attacks. Wow. Chris. Anthony, I love the tattooing and I love the story that it tells. That woman's face is beautiful and the markings, the space that you have behind her head and the markings on her face really work and they're really beautiful. The hot and cold juxtaposition of the colors are great. It's actually my favorite sleeve. Wow. Japanese, talk about it. Even though I had an open canvas, I really wanted to give him something that he likes as well. He has to wear it for the rest of his life. So during the competition, Dave, you did mention you wish to see more of the dragon, the full body. So I gave you that and then some with hopes to redeem myself. All right, man, thank you. here because you think you have what it takes to be the next Ink Master. But if you want to compete for the title, you're going to have to prove it first. Today, you must prove that you understand legibility by tattooing watercolor tattoos. Awesome. Watercolor tattoos are by far the least legible tattoo style I can think of. Nikki. The use of the black and the way that you gave it that brush stroke feel, it has a really strong look and it will hold up as to what it is over time. I think you did a great job here. Thank you. Kelly. 
the ink really flows, bleeding the colors and really seeing the ink move in the lower portion of the neck within your little highlights. That really shows nicely the color play and the looseness. You really do a stand-up job here. I'm gonna kick those boys' butts today. Uh, yeah. Originally, my canvas requested three planets and three names, but I convinced my canvas that we are not doing the names. Gian, dummy. Little match made in heaven, Gian, sorry. He thought he was throwing us under the bus. Mm. My strategy is to just keep winning and solidify my spot in the top five. My report card is great. I've been winning Tattoo of the Day, Flash Challenges, and I've never been in the bottom. Ryan. I really like the black that you use, even though the rings get a little wobbly. And I think you have a lot of good tricks. Thank you. I'm looking strong here. Thank you. Gian. I think that this tattoo is great. Having this figure in the primarily light spacesuit in front of the dark background, there's no better way to show contrast. Thanks, guys. You wanted the Colosseum. I was looking for like a action or a battle scene, maybe a lion and a gladiator or the lines down, head off, glowing for any blood that's on there. Oh my god. My canvas wants everything but the kitchen sink in his tattoo. I don't know how much I like his head being overly sized. Can the body be kind of like proportionate? Um, he doesn't want new school. On new school day. I got the hardest canvas of the day. Thanks, Nikki. I was a little nervous at first because I saw one of the new school tattoos. I don't know, like there was like makeup on it. I have like a style that I do for like feminine new school and then I have a style that I do for like masculine new school. It's just a little bit bolder. My canvas is a little nervous about my design, but he's going with it. The pressure for me to do a really, really good job on new school day is absolutely astronomical. Kelly's is awesome. It's not even finished yet, and it already looks like the Coliseum. And it's new school, and it's everything the guy wanted. We're talking about artistry. Kelly had the foresight to plan alcoves and little windows lined in red, because this thing is going to be glowing from the inside. I'm going for Kelly. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Kelly. Well done. Thank you. Oh, your skin takes ink like butter. Oh, good. I came into this competition needing to prove exactly who I am. And with every single day that I'm here, I get more and more comfortable in my own skin. Are you coming to Fort Lauderdale Handcrafter or what? I hope oh. so. Dude. Now's my time to shine and prove that I can win time and time again. Nikki, let's start with you. In the sense of a cover-up, you nail it. You hit technical application here really well. You apply the ink to the skin in a way that gets rid of the underlying tattoo. That real deep, rich black that you get down there puts so much depth into the tattoo. It's very beautiful, and technically, it is pretty perfect. There's no trace of the existing tattoo, and that was a massive tattoo that you covered up. Great job. Thanks. You have four hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Are you stoked? The next few hours are going to be crazy. There she is, ghosty yes. gypsy lady. This is the worst day for me as a coach and the toughest day for me as a judge. How are you? I'm going to keep my palette pretty traditional. Red, rose, green. The traditional will appeal, and you know who. I love Nikki. I love her attitude. I love her spirit, and I like the way she tattoos. But Kelly is also strong and is an incredible artist. So losing either of these girls is definitely a hit for me. Nikki blows my mind. I didn't know her before the competition, but I haven't seen another tattooer like her. Really? She's amazing. I don't want to do a face-off tattoo against Nikki. She's kind of my ride-or-die bitch. I absolutely adore her. There's more pressure on this tattoo than any other tattoo that I've done since I've been here. Team Nunez, today you had to face off against your teammate, and you are being judged on consistency. Nikki, let's start with you. 
Well, Nikki, I think you did a really beautiful tattoo here. It's got a lot of contrast. I really like the way you went about stylizing the hair. I like the little ends that you did on it. The eyes are pretty, really full lips, really nice chin, strong outline. She's gorgeous, and I think that there is a consistency not only in your application of your line work throughout this thing, but just artistically, I love this tattoo. It's my favorite that I've seen you do here. Super happy for you. Kelly. Beautiful work in the head wrap. It's blended so nicely, high gloss, and really bright. Overall, I think you both did beautiful tattoos. Thank you. Gian, in just a minute, we're gonna reveal your 24-hour master canvas. But first, let's take a look at how that went. What's up, man? You know it, man. You must be my canvas. Uh, Here it is. I think this is a winner. That's so tight. I'm just doing the watercolor drips on the sides. I'm going to use all my traditional skills, and I'm going to try to make this thing look like a watercolor painting. All right, buddy. I'm all for it. I want to prove to America that Puerto Rico has some badass tattoo artists. I really appreciate it, man. You're doing so good, man. Going against these girls, I still think I get a chance. I would love for there to be a female ink master, just not this time around. May the best man win. All right. Dion, let's see your master canvas, man. Let's see that tattoo. Wait. Take it off. Let's reveal it. I was really nervous at first, but after thinking about it, I was kind of excited, you know? It just gave me an opportunity to show that I'm very diverse and that I got what it takes to be Ink Master. Chris, what are your thoughts here, man? Well, Gian, all season long, you've done consistently beautiful tattooing. You've never been in the bottom, and you have steadily been able to really push your craft and really show people that you know how to apply solid tattoos that heal really well. Uh, this tattoo is really strong from you, man. The color palette on this is dynamic. It's strong. It has a lot of beautiful detail to it. Uh, the standalone skull, the placement of it, really, you know, it shows itself. It doesn't get lost in the piece, and I think you did an overall beautiful tattoo. Ryan, let's see how your master canvas went. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is your new chest piece. Cool, right? Yeah, I'm excited. I have a lot more to prove. Are you ready? New School was the one challenge that everyone else in the finale did that I didn't do. You gotta breathe, okay? It's literally the opposite of my style. Vibrant, bright color, thick, chunky lines. I don't do anything like that. This really is the tattoo that's going to make it or break it for me. 11 minutes. I've made it this far because I've busted my ass. I deserve to be the first female ink master. It is the moment of truth, Ryan. Please reveal your master canvas. Chris, your thoughts? Well, you know, this tattoo, it really, it does exude 90s. It does have that really 90s feel. I also, this is my 25th year tattooing. I grew up on this. So looking at this artwork, the outline quality, the color quality, the color palette and play, it really sets off a strong 90s presence. What for me really hits it is the use of the chrome. You captured that look in this 90s feel tattoo. I think you did a great job. Thank you. All right, Ryan, thank you very much. Folks better be ready. Welcome. Yeah, that's a sexy mermaid, dude. <laughs>
Thanks. In this competition, to have a coach tell me what to do is a hard thing because I've been on my own since I was 16. Today, Anthony's under the needle the whole time that we're tattooing, which means that I get 100% control of this design. So I gotta make sure that this tattoo is super cool. Jason. The precision in the pixelation is very nice. You really get a beautiful, delicate little face. I feel like you really took your time and paid attention to every little bit of this tattoo and concentrated on the precision part of the challenge. <laughs> Yeah, but that thing is small. I finally get to tattoo another subject matter I have not done before. I don't do micro tattoos. You can just do a light fade, really, really light. Just let it blend out. Like that? Okay. My wife has always told me, don't puff up and don't shrink. I have literally shaved all that with a single needle. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to my team. I'm getting some input and ideas from them. There's some tricks in there. With my technical application and the support of my team, these other guys don't stand a chance. Where are you coming? You're killing it, man. All right, guys, it is time to critique your work. Anthony, let's start with you. We set out to do a clean tattoo, and we're able to deliver that. The application in this tattoo is really smooth. There's no redness, there's no trauma. Everything's deliberate. More than anything, it looks like a believable insect. The segments are really defined. It's tiny, but the details are big enough to stand clear. The drop shadow is really nice under the translucent wings. So you still get the effect of these wings being detailed, yet they give off this little bit of shadow, which you got perfectly. Thanks. Guys, we need to determine a winner. I mean, Anthony put in multiple textures. Those translucent wings give that really soft drop shadow, plus the connection of every single leg is really well detailed. I'm leaning towards Anthony. Anthony has that beautiful silhouette wet and it's really soft. I'm gonna go with Anthony. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is Anthony. Nice. Damn, dude. Smooth. After doing Tattoo of the Day, finally, I'm feeling super confident, super comfortable. This is a new feeling for me. You're showing off, dude. It's not good to show off, man. In this, in Ink Master, I think it's good to show off. I think I actually found my groove 100%. That's good, man. <laughs> Today, you were being tested on composition with negative space tattoos. Let's see how you did. Team Anthony, you're up. One. Juan, I really love this tattoo. It's super powerful. It's a great composition. The way you have negatives coming in and then stark black images right behind those negatives, it creates a strong border, and it's really well balanced. You threw some really nice detail in this thing. I really love what you did with these vines wrapped around the trees there. What I love about this is the really soft lighting that you have coming off of the moon, going back into the night sky, really giving this thing a sense of depth. That is a really strong play here for you. Let's take a look at Anthony's tattoo. Your color blending is the best example of finesse that we see today, how smooth and soft and buttery all this stuff is. This is a technical application a lot of people have problems pulling off. You do it really, really well. And your design colored the way that you wanted to do it. There's no question as to what's going on with this teeth gum issue. It's all laid out there for you, beautifully detailed. It's killer, dude. Thank you, man. Let's take a look at the master's tattoo, DJ. This design actually has a lot of finesse to it. It's really smooth, it's really flowing, it's really well laid out. I like the way that you etched out your pieces. That really served the concept of a wooden mask. The ropes on this are really nice. The flowers set in really nice. Overall, it's a really clean sticker tattoo. Oh yeah. Steve. You get so many different tones of dark, the really deep inset blackness in the eyes, and then those little dark pits of even darker, richer black. This thing really has a lot of depth to it. This has a ton of texture. You can feel what's going on in here if you run your finger over it. Giving this to your team made them step up. but was a true test. Artists, to earn a spot in the finale, you had to prove you have the stamina and the skills to compete at the elite level of the Masters. You made it through 18 hours of tattooing. Let's get to it and take a look at your 12-hour tattoos. Let's start with Jason. This girl came out beautiful. 
I lean more towards the emotional side of art. I like to portray something that people want to ask what's going on. You as an artist really shine here. It's well illustrated. I love the way the top of the head breaks and you have that light blue glow. That's a really nice complementary color to the gray in the face. And it also shows through the same, almost the same color in her eyes. Really cool play, really nice artistic look on this. One. I really like this tattoo, man. It definitely has a vibrant look. It definitely has a cool illustrative layout to it. I love the black, rich ends of these wings. Cohesive all the way around. They flow really nice with the back of the lady's arm. And then the positioning of the front wing, the way it comes down and rides her bicep, is really nice. It's pretty perfect. The attention to detail in this thing is top notch. Thanks. Rolly. You really show off smooth technical ability in this tattoo. Your blacks are saturated. You have some really cool techniques in your gray shading and show a lot of different textures and different effects from the skin to the hair to the feathers. Very slick, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. Josh. The illustration is really, really cool. You pretty much bring the traditional Japanese into the modern era with your own style on it. All of the color application on this tattoo is beautiful, but what I like is that you do some of this color application solid wall to wall. You do other pieces where you shade off the color. You really did hit as many of these skill sets as you could pack into one tattoo. It comes off really, really slick. Thank you very much, guys. One last time, let's do this thing. I came in and I talked a big game and I'm here to win this whole damn thing and this is the piece that's gonna solidify it. So basically, that's what we're going with. That's awesome. I went a lot bigger than the other two are gonna go, but I said it, let's go for it. And finally, from Team DJ, Josh, come on over here, man. And reveal. You got a lot of coverage here, certainly the biggest piece that we've seen tonight. Yeah, I wanted to come out and just deliver something huge, epic, grand. This whole entire ride with everybody here has been that big. Trying to capture these animals and the whole body, the whole fight. There was no way I was keeping it on a chest, so I said, let's go big and let's go for it. I love the eagle. I love the snake. You know, these have a, a really strong look and your color palette is strong. It gets a little hard to read in the sternum. That eagle's head could be a little bit lighter so that it really stands out. What I do like is that you did go in and leave a lot of skin breaks. You did leave a lot of open skin. You did show that ability to go from ink to skin really smoothly. It is super detailed. It is packed to the gills. It is super clean, super smooth, bulletproof, solid Josh Payne, killer tattoo, man. Thank you very much. All right, Josh, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. All right, the judges have decided. Josh. Yes! 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 You do have what it takes to be a beat master. Yes! So this is kind of what I was thinking. It's like a religious Tibetan mask. I don't get to do many heads, but I'm always down for a challenge. And how far down in the neck is this gonna go? How far down do you want it to go? I want my whole neck covered. Cool. One thing I'm known for is my speed, so if I can get something bigger than the other two coaches, I'm down. Wow. DJ, clearly you didn't go small. Nope. Uh, I wanted it to look from the top. If he puts his head straight down, look at the crowd. He's got a mask on the top of his head. That slides up. The tassels ride the side. And I also wanted pieces that went together, but they are their own pieces from top to back. When he's walking backwards, people think that's a skeleton with a third eye with his brain cut out. Every way you look at this guy's head, there's something going on that's interesting and, and intriguing. You look at the top of this guy's head, there's no doubt that thing is super tight, that's super clean. To me, the top of the head is really, really, really strong. What gets me on this one is just the halos that you have on the lines up on the top of the flower on both sides of the shoulder. There is no denying the blowouts in the flower. You've put some this shading. Right here? You put some shading to hide it, but you can see them. Um, it's shaded everywhere. Yeah. I think there's parts in every tattoo that gets away from everybody in these. It's a head, it's tricky, it's 24 hours. Going this big, it's always a risk. What I like the most about this thing is the layout and the illustration and the way each piece 
flows into the next piece and keeps on continuing until it covers every single area that you can get on this. Amazing detail, amazing color work. This thing, this thing is bad to the bone. Thank you, guys. Each of you came from around the country to prove that you are the best. Woo. Yeah! Let's go! If you want to make it to the end, you won't be able to do it alone because you will be competing in teams. Whoa. Nobody knows what it takes to win this competition better than a master. And for the first time ever, three Ink Master winners are back to coach teams. Wow. Oh, check it out. Since you're the masters, we're pushing your skills to the limit. For this tattoo, you must freehand your design directly onto your canvas's skin without a stencil. What? 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 Freehanding tattoos on the skin is insane. To show proportion, usually you have a reference and you stencil it, that way it's perfectly proportioned. To freehand it ups the game so much. Get it. Today I'm looking for these coaches to come out and show us what they do best. All right, just relax. This is more of a battle of wits. We know they have the technical chops. This is to see who can outdo who and who does the best proportion. I'm looking at you guys' hair. I'm gonna use yours. Yeah. Because I like those curls. Yeah, curls. The curls, yeah. Yep. Strategically, I want to be a little creative and set myself apart from the rest of the room. DJ's probably gonna do another snake. Steve's just gonna do the evil stuff. I'm freehanding a beautiful woman's face with tiger features. No one in the room is gonna do anything close to this. Do this. Right. Measure the bottom. It's a little over two fingers, two and a half fingers. That's why I want to draw it yeah. like this, so I know, see? A portrait is literally the hardest thing to freehand. This is my chance to show the other team, the haters, the talkers, why I am an ink master. It's a very risky move, but it shows a lot of balls. We don't give a what they do. Oh, man, this is going to be crazy. These are great, amazing artists that have one ink master, so who knows who's going to win? Solid, man. This is like an open seminar. You have three different styles happening at the same exact time. It's awesome. Four hours to go. Four more hours. I'm super pumped that I get to tattoo, but there's a lot on my shoulders. My whole team depends on me, and I don't know if I'm ready for this coaching stuff. You mind if I just point? Yep. These two light areas that you have on the bottom are competing with the value that you have up there, so you gotta... Mm -hmm, yeah. Get, you can always... Use more black, you know. Also, though, just keep in mind, the top of the apple a lot darker than the bottom of the apple, yeah. which doesn't really make sense with how the light's hitting it, you know? Tell me what to add. Don't tell me what I did wrong. Because I can't take that away now. So they're no, no, gonna be okay, like, no, no, the top no, no. of the apple's too dark. No, 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 I'm not saying it. I'm not saying that. I'm giving DJ advice, but he's not listening. I know what I'm doing. Just let me do it. Look at the uh, on the right hand side the black and the face piece because I did every single line. No. <laughs> People from the dream team are coming over here being oh, like, yeah. he's old and he's a dinosaur. This m is about to whip all y'all asses. The other teams can say what they want about Steve, but at the end of the day, they don't know what they're with. Five, four, three, two. One. That's it. Machine's down. No more ink. Ooh, Dig it. Up. Oh. Damn. We won already. <laughs> Today, the fate of your team was completely in your hands. Let's see how you did. Steve, let's start with you. Very smart play using anatomy as a way to show proportion. Anything that's remotely off, anatomically speaking, is going to scream lack of proportion. That hand out in front of the face and the glasses, the pipe, the hand holding it, keep proportion and tell exactly what's going on. It really played well. Thank you so much. It was awesome watching him draw this. Did you guys help him do all those lines that don't line up? Are you talking? Because we were talking. On the glasses, there's lines that didn't line up. On the cuff, there's lines that overlap, underlap. In the ear, there's lines that go right straight through it. If somebody could draw a portrait on skin and knock it out like that, I'm listening. Until I see that, 
Josh talks a big talk, but I haven't seen it backed up yet. I don't like his cockiness. He's done nothing. What are you cocky over? DJ. I love the tattoo, man. I think it's killer. Illustration is amazing. The detail you got in the hand is as good as anybody else could have done tracing it off the photo. As far as hitting the proportion, the hand and the apple looks very nice, very believable. I wish you just did the hand and the apple. The snake, the jaw, is much thicker than your piece of body where it swoops down this way. I just drew that off the head. It's art. It's objective at a certain point. As long as it looks believable, the proportion looks right to me. Thanks. DJ's tattoo is flawless, but I feel like Steve had a better understanding of what proportion meant. The old man has experience, and he's showing it right now. Anthony. It's a beautiful tattoo. The quality, the craftsmanship, it has great value in shading. But the fact that you did a creature that doesn't exist, it's very hard to gauge proportion. I think a tiger lady exists in the same realm as an old man with horns. This is the tone of how this is going to go. Who really outtricks who? In the outside world, this tattoo is amazing. This flat out feels horrible. It's time to pick a winner. Who had the best tattoo of the day? Playing smart and doing realistic proportions that everybody can see from across the room and know that it looks right was the way to hit the challenge. Proportion next to proportion. Your hand and apple for me hit it. His eyes next to his glasses, next to his nose, next to his mouth, next to his hand, next to his pipe, hit it. The old man out thunk him. Steve takes it. The best tattoo of the day goes to Steve. Yeah! Today, all of you must step aside and trust your coaches completely. Just trust me, right? Oh, yeah. For this flash challenge, coaches, you will be tattooing. Ready? Oh, boy. Steve has already won a head-to-head -head face off against myself and DJ. I need to do everything I can to win this challenge. This week, we're testing adaptability. Adaptability is in every tattoo. On different parts of the body, the skin is different. You have to adapt to it. You have to run your machine differently. You have to approach the design differently. Coaches, today you must tattoo an incredibly difficult part of the body. Oh, no. The under chin. Oh, my god. The skin under your chin is really delicate. It's hard to pull lines on, get solid saturation. It's hard to even lay out a design under there. I'm glad that my canvas only has one chin. And I feel I'm gonna have to freehand this. I'm trying to lay a stencil nice and flat and even. It's going all over the place, it's sloppy. I'm gonna have to adapt to simplify my design and hopefully it looks good on this really weird, hangy skin. I have to freehand it. Freehand me, sir. So he's not willing to give the canvas the tattoo the canvas wants. Right. I can hear you, douchebag. Sometimes it's your canvas tattoo. Listen, you keep running middle of the road. I didn't know second was the middle of the road. Be second at the finale, too, Siri got gotcha. you. Someone gets real grumpy when people start talking to him. You're not talking to me, you're talking about me. It's different, bro. <laughs> See what the hell I'm doing. Everything's swelling up. I can't see what I'm doing. I just have to go off of instinct and follow my gut, my intuition. Oh, that's my neck. <laughs> if I drop the ball, my team does not get the advantage, and I've pretty much proven to these other coaches that I can't compete with them going into the master faceoff. Have time, what do you think about a tiny, like, light gray shade around? No the light gray anything on the neck, it will not hold. I mean, light gray wash. Listen, you gotta get this done, bro. Let it rock. Let him do his thing, huh? Steve, if you came off the black with this and dipped it in this, it would look dope. A dope blend. Dude, I don't, I got this much. I'm not blending, you know what I'm saying? Jeremy, it's his day he's tattooing. Like, if he doesn't take our input, then he's not taking it. This is your final hour. Maybe just peppering just a little shading off those blacks up, give a little skin just to fill that gap just a tiny bit. Get through that, get it solid, get it clean as mm -hmm. Oh, that sucks. I'm dropping my machine. It hit the tip. I just got to rewrap it and everything. I haven't dropped my machine in like 10 years. I'm not sure why I'm nervous right now, but people behind you telling you different things to do, it kind of gets in your head. You want to try like that bloodberry color, which is like a deep purpley red. It's real, real pretty. Josh might be a little bit too hands-on at the moment. 
the old time. Just gonna go with those ones? Yeah. Cool, no worries. Josh needs to realize that this skull pick is everything to me. I've been on the line the last three times, so I'm really hoping he leaves DJ alone. So the only other thing I was thinking, DJ, is like with your spacing that you have. All right, Josh. I'm done. I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Holy <laughs> yo. <laughs> All right, coaches, it is time to critique your work. Let's start with Steve. It's a tough tattoo. You made a smart choice just doing the skull and the roses. You've got a lot of really solid, dense black in that soft skin, and then you also contrast it with the really bright red and the roses. It looks symmetrical, and I like that you went down and covered the whole throat. You did a killer job. Thank you so much. Uh, Steve's tattoo sucks. The overall design is just ugly, man. Thanks, bro. Ciao. DJ. I like the strength that you have in the simplicity. It was a super tough area, especially a triangle. That was why I was so fumbled up. It happens, all tattooers falter. But how you get back up from the slip, that is what I'm talking about. You made a really strong, clean outline. You really toned back the eye. You really went with a simple color palette. Simplifying the design, great example of adaptability, especially for that spot. Thanks. Anthony. The smoothness and the quality of the black and gray, that reminds us why you're sitting as a coach. Beautiful side, beautiful entryway to the piece in the center, beautiful exit, and the precision of that beak dropping down to a perfectly sharp point dead center. Everything's dark and breathable. This tattoo's absolutely gorgeous, but I don't think it met the challenge. He dodged the one place that you had to tattoo, the under chin. Judges, it is time to determine the winner of this flash challenge. As far as adaptability goes today, I really like what DJ did in the way that he went along the jawline, brought this design so it's readable from a mile away. My vote is for DJ. Anthony, to me, went above and beyond. Doing big black and gray, we always see people do it too dark where they lose the contrast or they lose the shape. Anthony's figure is very dynamic. Vote for Anthony. We have one vote for Anthony, one vote for DJ. Chris? Today, Anthony. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is Anthony. Thank you, guys. This feels amazing. I don't have as much experience as these other coaches. I pretty much smashed them. That's what I needed. For this Flash Challenge, once again, coaches, you will be tattooing. All right, bro. This week, we're testing technical application. Technical application is pretty much how you put the ink into the skin. Today, you must create a micro-realistic insect tattoo. Micro-realistic insect. <laughs> In an area no bigger than two inches by two inches, it will take the application skills of a master to flawlessly apply every microscopic detail. This is one of the things I do at home. I haven't won a single master face-off. Anthony's won one, Steve's won one. It's my time to show up on this tattoo and beat both of them out. This is what I do, I do a lot of mini stuff. I wanna show like a cool shadow and yeah. make it look like you can pull that little bug off. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to give you a praying mantis. It has to be like two inches, like everything size. has to be two inches, Damn. bro, yeah. Two inches might be too small for a praying mantis. Pretty mantis yeah. are big. To make it that small, right? yeah. you lose everything. Steve and I, we don't see eye to eye all the time. Yeah, I've been getting shut down by the guy for ideas over and over again, but we're down the two people on Team Steve. If Steve doesn't win this, it could be down to one. Look at this. It's a fly, man. <laughs> like, that's really cool. And like, I'm down, I want you guys to win, you know what I mean? So like, I'm like, I don't really care, honestly. I'm really trying to give you what you want. You know what? You want the fly? Yeah. Okay. Jeremy and I are still on a little weird spot. He has a lot of ideas. Outside of here, they work great. But in here, it'll just send you to the bottom. We gotta find a way to use some of his ideas, ignore everything else, and then we can move forward. All right, coach, you tell me today. Yeah, well, that thing is small. I finally get to tattoo. Another subject matter I have not done before. I don't do micro tattoos. You can just do a light fade really, really light and just let it blend out. Like that? Okay. One hour left. I just want like a cool three-quarter with a shadow under it. I want a good shine in it. That's awesome. I think it'd be cool. 
you got huge contrast, nice deep black. Are you gonna do more with with the eye here? Like more yeah, shading I'm on the eye? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do okay. more shading on the eye. I just wanted to get the detail in first. You know? Uh -huh. I know Steve can pull out a win. Good looking out. He's been the underdog, I think, when it comes to the coaches. You know, he's old school. He's been tattooing for a long time, but he's shown that he can beat them on any day. He needs black off the tip. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. No matter how hard Steve and Anthony work today, DJ is the king of micro-realism, and no one can touch that. I love it, dude. That is awesome. Amazing, man. You got a lot of detail in there. Definitely between you and DJ. Check out your bug. What? Oh, that's dope. Hopefully we win this one. Because if we do, everybody's Yeah. All right, brother, take a look, man. This is really cool. There's a lot of detail in there. I love it. Killed it, bro. Oh, hopefully, bro. I love it. Let's do that again. Ready? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Just do it. Just do it. This High five. Hi, bro. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Motley crew that is my team. <laughs> All right, guys, it is time to critique your work. Anthony, let's start with you. You set out to do a clean tattoo, and we're able to deliver that. The application in this tattoo is really smooth. There's no redness. There's no trauma. Everything's deliberate. More than anything, it looks like a believable insect. The segments are really defined. It's tiny, but the details are big enough to stand clear. The drop shadow is really nice under the translucent wings. So you still get the effect of these wings being detailed, yet they give off this little bit of shadow, which you got perfectly. Thanks. My biggest fear right now is DJ's Beetle didn't allow the opportunity to have some of the extra textures that Anthony was able to put in between the fur and the translucence of the wings. Chilled it. DJ. Really like it, man. It's super tight, super clean. You went with a realistic take on this thing. It looks really slick. The stuff you put on the back of the beetle shell has a really great look to it. It looks like you could drag your finger over it, feel the texture, how you juxtapose the gray to the black to the gray to the black so that you can see the bending turns is a real feather in your cap. It really does have a three-dimensional look. It looks like it could be actually sitting on her leg. Thanks, guys. Might be throwing a bunch of gold pellets at me. Steve. I really like this tattoo, and I really like how it somehow looks like your style in there. It looks evil. It has a little evil face to it. Getting away from the mantis was the best choice. And this thing is every bit of detail. This magnified take on this thing is almost ominous. I mean, it really suits your style, but then at the same time, every leg, every line, every little thing on this thing is flawless. Thanks. I'm feeling a little bit better about Steve. He showed me some respect, and that goes a long way to me. I respect him a little bit more. Guys, we need to determine a winner. I think outright DJ's looks the most like a tattoo. It looks like you could pick it up, chuck it, and the thing will just be solid. Steve's is more of like a technical drawing. It's like a science of, drawing. A yeah. science drawing of a blown up fly. I'm torn between Steve and DJ. I mean, Anthony put in multiple textures. Those translucent wings give that really soft drop shadow. Plus the connection of every single leg is really well detailed. I'm leaning towards Anthony. I'm gonna go with Anthony. The judges have decided the winner of today's flash challenge is Anthony. Nice. Thank you guys. Are you kidding me? I can't believe Anthony beat me. I cannot win. Welcome, artists. I've only been tattooing for about two and a half years. I am still in the honeymoon phase of tattooing. With inexperience comes drive, passion. These guys have been doing it for 15 years. They don't have that like new, loving feeling about it. That gives me such an edge against them. Outline looks very crisp. It's not tonal. It's a very slick tattoo. All right. Who wants this artist on their team? Absolutely. Oh my god, that is so nice to hear. If your tattoo appears on the screen, please step forward. Let's bring up the number one ranked tattoo. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. Angel. These dudes are going to look tough as with some strawberries blasted on them. You have one hour to tattoo a realistic strawberry, and your time starts now. 
knew he was going to do that. What, cut it in half? <laughs> Clean. Cut the strawberry in half to kind of bypass all the little seeds. Smart, you got to admit. I'm not going to admit it. <laughs> The hardest part of color realism is that it's so precise and detailed. Do you want, like, the avocado color for that? No. See what I'm doing right here? Yeah, you're making a bright-ass lime green. I'm a fast tattooer, but Christian's definitely going to struggle on this tattoo because time is going to kill him. Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. Clean. The light parts of the strawberry spread out through the redness on the inside, give it a little life. I mean, I like both, but it's hard to deny that there's so much more detail in cleans. I got to go with clean. I do like cleans. Great job. Clean. The winner of this face-off is clean. That looks nice, though, you guys. You guys getting that rhythm down? It's a trick, right? It is. My team is such a diverse array of artists. It's my job to make sure everybody's reeled in, stays cohesive, and works together. If they can get the whole thing lined in this, then we button this mother up, then we can commit to adding more. Keep it simple, finish the piece, and you're safe. Today, you had to prove your adaptability and work as a team to tattoo a battle scene. Team Christian, you're up first. You guys overall work well as a team. All of the consistency within this looks really strong and really well put together. Everybody on this team stepped up. We had absolutely no weak link. It's really smart that you used elements like aliens and dinosaurs because it gives you the latitude to add stuff like the flying saucer and add stuff like the pterodactyls to make this thing more of a scene rather than just a couple of elements that we're used to seeing. It's a great effort from you guys in terms of showing your adaptability as a team. A lot of smart choices on getting a big tattoo done and working together. Overall, it's pretty sharp. Thank, Thank you. Matt. I appreciate it. This is going to be black and gray. This is going to be color. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty much everybody on my team is mad at me, and I genuinely do not care. One of the first things I was told when I started working in a tattoo shop was never trust another artist. I didn't come here to make friends. I'm here to win for myself. I'm going to try and make you proud, Christian. You make you proud, Chris. Chris. I love the drawing. It's very slick, very simple. You kill it on solid color saturation. The shading in the horse, top notch. I love your take on space. You made it consistent and illustrative. I think this kid's just starting to realize how good he really is. No kid stuff today. I'm super stoked. This I do a type of tattooing that none of them has any idea how to even approach. All right, guys, now let's take a look at Christian's tattoo. He's making those horns light. It really shows strong because you have that rich black behind them on the curve of the horns, so it pushes it forward. Everybody's faces were a bit jawed out and square and flat, and you brought yours more on a curved angle. That plays well to your design. What I'm most impressed with is the expression on her face. It looks like she's seeing the light, she's in ecstasy. It tells a story. Deepening up that part, like you said. OK. And then I brought a little bit more flesh tone in, not a lot. OK. All right. Not enough to uh, make yeah. it. Weird. Yeah, don't get too crazy crazy. The judges in clean have been hammering me on going overboard in all of my designs. So I'm just going to reel in my artwork and literally let clean take the wheel from here on. All I have to do is everything I'm told so that I can get to the damn finale. Turk. Risky move to choose this pose, but you pulled it off really well. I commend you for not doing an archway that she's looking off into with a <laughs> castle behind it, because I know it was on your mind, I'm sure. Yeah. I really like the illustration of the hair. Shape of the body is nice. You keep a very consistent line weight through this, and the color saturation is really nice. Well, you guys said punch it up, man, and I'm listening. 100% my favorite tattoo you've showed us so far. Thank you. This is uh, actually a lot funner than when we had a whole bunch of people. This thing looks super cohesive. We're like a well-oiled machine right now. I'm actually glad that there's only three of us tattooing. If there was more people on our team, we'd be stumbling all over each other. You and Tiffer got to bring it home. Today, you had to prove your versatility working as a team, tattooing anything representing power. Let's see how you did. Team Clean, you're up first. Power knocked it out of the park. This is a powerful animal, powerful tattoo. I love the transition from yellow to orange in the face. Really smooth, really well done. The color play in this thing is solid. The outline on this thing's really solid. The black is punched in solid. The thing is solid, wall to wall, looks like a sticker. Hell yeah. Thank you. 
I'm an artist at the core of everything that I am. I've always been creating my own work since I was an apprentice, I'm not copying a photograph. I'm super nervous about this tattoo because it's realism, and you just have to be more concerned with being exact than just creating. Tim. It's gone. Smallest tattoo of the day, but man, you hit it right on the head. That dark black fur texture like that is really hard to pull off. You've got a lot of different tones in this tattoo. Solid black, a little bit lighter, all the way down to your softest grays. The details are amazing. You show a side of you that's probably really scary for the back line. This is what we're looking for here, someone who can do everything. Appreciate it, guys. Today, you had to tattoo another artist's line drawing. Three of you will be moving on to the finale, and one of you will be packing your machines. Let's see how you did. Tony, we'll start with you. You got called out by Tim. You had to tattoo his line drawing. The colors you chose to bring this thing to life, I think are really cool. This kind of drawing, if you would have just done a real simple color palette, I don't think it would have done it justice. Thank you. Tiffer, you're next. You got called out by Tony and had to tattoo his line drawing. I love what you did. I love the tones, the blue face, the way that you're able to punch these blues in and use that stronger, contrasted, deeper blue in the nose and recess the edges of the nose to bring that mouth forward. TJ. Yesterday, I straight up did not like this design, and today I love it. The hair texture is super killer. The shine's in the eyes. It's just a lot of cool effects in this tattoo. There's a vast difference between the design, the way you do it when you own it, and the way that it got done. You have a way of doing portraits where you're not afraid to put the darkness in, and they still breathe. In the All right, clean. Step up, and let's bring out your master canvas, buddy. <laughs> Take a look. Wow. I'm always kind of known for going big and bold, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something that was the biggest tattoo that Ink Master's ever seen. I wanted to do something that well, you could see from across the street, and I wanted to show that you can do a tattoo, one shot, one kill, just tattooing. Buddy. Let's see it. Moment of truth. Wow. That's pretty nice. I was talking to you just straight up tattooing on black outlines. See it from across the street. The legibility here is what really sells the tattoo. I love the color play in this. Having that color contrast against the blue on the skull with that hot orange and red really make this thing jump out. The outlines here on this tattoo are beautiful. Every outline on here is the same width, the same thickness. One hell of a sticker. Thank you. Finalists, one of you will walk away with $100,000 and the title of Ink Master. Cam, you're up first. The eye itself is very nice. That soft gray that comes out and radiates out into the hand and to the pattern is beautiful. Thank you. Don't hate. I'm not hating. It's a beautiful piece. Danny. I'm going to tell you that I hate this tattoo because people are going to want this shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a really solid applied tattoo. Less is more. Thank you. I was nervous when she picked the subject because I knew it was going to be something totally crazy because she's definitely from another planet, for sure. Danny is one of the strongest competitors, not only on the girls' team, but in the entire competition. I was, in my mind, I think, making it more difficult than it was. So to be able to defeat her is going to say a lot about my artistic ability. Ever since I could hold a pencil, I was drawing when I was five, and I just never stopped. That's your calling. You knew it was in you, girl. Danny and Laura. Laura, you called out a new school alien holding a Milky Way galaxy. I really like this illustration. Anywhere you look throughout this head of the alien, you see the color saturation is equal throughout every tone of color, which is the main thing we're looking for today. 
Let's take a look at Danny's tattoo. It's a killer tattoo. It's an incredible rendering. I'm super impressed for throwing this together, having no concept of what this was going to be. I love this battle. I wish this battle was every week. Me too. All right, guys, who wins this head-to-head -head face off? In technical application, Laura looks stronger. If I just look at the head versus Danny's, it's just so clean and so meticulous. Laura's application is really stunning. Laura for the win. The winner of the face off is Laura. So were you always into art or were always. you like straight into, yeah? Yep, that is all I ever did in school. Growing up, I was always kind of the weird kid, but I stayed true to my roots, and uh, I never changed who I was for anyone else. Drawing and getting beaten up, that was about it. Yeah. Assholes. Yeah. I opened up a shop, and I became successful. Who's laughing now? Exactly. Oh, oh my god, it looks so good. Oh, I love them. I love them, too. I already told Jason what I would do with my own design. Now I have to tattoo my own design differently from how I would tattoo it. I can't wait till they, like, put them next to each other. I don't really want to see them side by side. Jason, you tattooed Laura's design. You do a great tattoo here. And to take it from that weathered look and then go into the clean hat, which clearly has not been with it its entire life, is a nice touch of detail. Again, you hit it out of the park in your execution. You're competing. Thanks, guys. Wow. Laura. This thing is the best. The style and execution that you have here and the way that you understand how to capture chrome is great. What I get excited about is real soul and real coolness to tattooing. The thing looks amazing. If you choose Creepy Jason, you will not hurt my feelings whatsoever. Thank God I don't have to choose, so they both win. Wow. Check out this Broccoli wizard, man. Nice. I like the skin breaks. And that's how I'm doing the whole top, man. I think that was the one problem that Alexis has had, was that it was too claustrophobic for me. Didn't breathe much, man. This is my chance to bring this guy to life the way he's supposed to be. I like him, man. He's got a lot of personality. Compared to what we just did the other day, I feel like I have all the time in the world. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to fight my ass off the beloved broccoli wizard. I don't know how I'm going to beat that, but I'm going to do my freaking best. You imagine in your mind the critique that they're going to say, like, and then you're like, oh, maybe I should do that. You just hear them in your head going, I wish you did this. I don't like the way you did that. I'm like, I'm trying. <laughs> it must be terrifying. Jason. More than anything, it is crisp and clean. That solid approach with letting things breathe in this competition, it's what's going to win. Moving on. Danny. You picked Creepy Jason's New School Broccoli Wizard. The black fade leading into your red and your skin breaks, super soft, super smooth. This is a very clean sticker tattoo with no questions in the design. I think it's very strong. Yeah, I'm just gonna take my time to make sure it looks good. Unfortunately for me, my canvas's neck is smaller than most. The smaller it is, the harder it is to put detail in it, especially on the neck. When you go small with detail, it just swells up, it's hard to work with, so I'm just gonna have to go pretty simple today. Let's tell you what, on the long lion's crush head is not easy. No, I believe it. I can still do a clean, bold, traditional feel tattoo, and the only way I can really show like good finesse is showing solid, clean black and solid colors, but it's hard to pull off in such a weird place. Dude, that's one of the coolest tattoos you've done here. It's like a totally different Jake Ross tattoo. So cool. Go team. Hey, so far. Dude, it doesn't look anything like a mandala, that's for sure. For the first three years of my tattooing career, I did nothing but mandalas. I will not let myself fail at this. Blue, black, and gray. It's weird. What are you doing? Oh my god. Get the out of here. You just show us my black and gray is better than yours. <laughs> oh my god, are you trying to make me throw up? If I actually pull this off, he's gonna be so threatened. It's alright, I can tattoo better than these boys even with heels on. Jake. It's probably my favorite tattoo I've seen you do in the competition. The design sits really well. I love the interaction of the rope with the design, and I like the flow of the rope. You're used to black here, and this bold, strong outline on this really stands out well. I love this style of tattooing out of you, man. Really, really nice tattoo. Thank you. Women's team, you're next. Laura. It's really beautiful. It's really delicate. It's really clean. I didn't want to do any fine line detail on a neck, so I recommended doing some sort of flower. All those lines that Laura did so spot on and on the money, everything lines up. Laura for the win. The best tattoo of the day goes to Laura. Thank you. How's my little tattooed poltergeist doing up there? 
All right, Ryan, you drew surrealism. How are you feeling right now? You know, surrealism is not my wheelhouse, but if we're going to get up there and coach, we better put our money where our mouth is. It's definitely looking amazing, Thank you me. know? Let's take a look at this tattoo. Now that's nice. The way these multiple images are intertwined and all the details show through, the face beautifully illustrated, and then the swan just appearing out of it and all the filigree swirls and the solid background color. It's really rich, it's really vibrant. That is definitely true. Thank you very much. Laura, you're up. Let's have a look. Japanese and I chose to do Raijin. He's a very powerful ancient thunder god. I always just really loved the look of these big oni demon-like guys and I thought it would just make a really striking powerful image. And this is out of the tattoo. It is strong. The layout is really nice. I love what you did in the center of the belly, how you gave it that light source. If you opened it up a little bit in the feet, and in the inside of the hands, to balance all that out, it would have been beautiful. But overall, man, I really do love what you did here. I love the ripped photo idea. Thanks. I need a reason for a new school in black and gray to be together. So if I take a photograph and I tear it in half, it's the best way I can think of to work the challenge into the design. I think they specifically gave me this one because it's time consuming. The best part of today is knowing every single Ink Master's butthole is clenched. For this round, you must tattoo some of the most difficult parts of the body. Oh, shit. That sounds awful. Stomach, foot, armpits, knee ditch. Oh. All of these spots suck to get tattooed. They're really painful. This is going to be a huge challenge. Good day to be safe. You all have to rub it in. All right. What's happening? I'm having fun with this one. Harm, um, how long you been tattooing? A little over 10 years. I started tattooing in Cuba. There is no tattoo shops. The police can just go to your house and, and take everything from you if they find out that you're tattooing. It was a struggle. I have a background in art, so that makes it a little bit easier, but it's definitely a hustle. The cheese, it's so cute. This tattoo, anybody in the room would like to tattoo. If I don't absolutely crush it, then I haven't done my job today. Today, you had to tattoo outrageous ideas in insanely difficult places. Safety from elimination is on the line. Angel, mm. you're up first. For it being such bright colors, so heavily packed, there's almost no irritation, and the inner thigh is a tough spot to get tattooed. That was one of the tattoos that I really struggled to see how someone could make that cool and you nailed it with this. It's obvious that you're here to play ball. Thank you. Looks like you're not tattooing tomorrow. Hi, Hiram. It's a really well done tattoo. The contrast is so high. Like in that background, you have that heavy, heavy dark and then it goes right into that really bright turquoise blue and it's really beautiful. Thank you. Judges. Who had the best tattoo of the day? I personally like Angel's tattoo or Hiram. And what's funny is these are two full color tattoos by two black and gray artists. Yeah, crushed Talk it. Talk about versatility. Yeah. Can we agree that these are the best two tattoos of the day? 100%. Yeah. 100%, yes. Angel and Hiram, the judges have decided you are safe from elimination. That leaves six of us. Today, you must create a fine art tattoo. Oh, interesting. From cubism to impressionism to Renaissance oil paintings, these famous art styles have some of the most recognizable techniques in the world. That's all you, girl. The biggest challenge about this design is that I gotta make this thing huge. If I make it tiny, I'm not gonna be able to fit all these little details in there. You are killing it. Yes, you are killing it. Girl. What, thank I mean, you. You're amazing. Today, you had to prove your creativity tattooing in a fine art style. 
Gian, your canvas wanted an Aubrey Beardsley-inspired Art Nouveau. Great artists know how to leave these little uncomfortable moments in paintings where at first glance, you can look in the middle of his drawing and you can kind of be uncomfortable because it's empty, but then you look at it longer and you like it. The black, you really packed it in. Everything is super smooth. The saturation is where it needed to be. It's a great tattoo. Thank you, guys. <sighs> Judges, it's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Gian showed us top quality of what can be done with line work on skin. Creativity-wise, Bob definitely pushed himself out of the envelope. They're both badass, but my vote is Gian. My vote is for Bob. Gian laid it out for himself where he gave himself absolutely nowhere to hide. And he did it, he nailed it. My vote is for Gian. We have two votes for Gian, one vote for Bob. Nico. I'm a color guy but I have a hard time doing line work that crispy. My vote goes to Gian. Hey man, good job, man. Thank you guys, thank you. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Gian. Today, uh -huh. you must tattoo pinups. Oh. Oh. I am so ready for this. Yeah, y'all love it now, man. Historically, they don't do too good in this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Pinups in this competition are historically dangerous. There's a lot of really small details that you can up that are gonna send your ass home very quickly. Pinups alone are too easy for this all-star group of artists. I wouldn't say that. No, they're not. That is why. This week, you must tattoo pinups of animals. What, what the f f Are you kidding me? Okay, all right. Whoa! What is this? Whoa! From fur to spots, feathers to scales, hooves to tails, you must take all the details that make an animal recognizable and personify them in the iconic pinup style. God oh damn, my man. goodness. Ooh. Ow. Okay, 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 okay. Ow. This tattoo is to the brim of detail. It has patterned spots, straps, and like all the shit in it. Is that super painful or anything? Uh mm huh. -hmm. Sorry. I literally need to cram a 10 hour tattoo into five hours. I just need to shake out the pain. What did you say? I need to shake out the pain. You're gonna hate me, but I gotta do like five lines real quick. My canvas is only set for three hours and they are definitely feeling it right now. Today, you had to show your attention to detail by tattooing animal pinups. Let's see how you did. Bob, you're up first. This tattoo is so incredible, man. It's like laser printed. Not only anatomically is your illustration absolutely spectacular, but the use of textures like the latex top really looks shiny. I just want this giraffe to have social media so I can start following her. <laughs> there you go, man. Judges, it's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. In terms of overall quality, I think there is truly one artist that really outer space raised the bar. My vote is for Bob. I have to agree with Ryan. That thing is sick. My vote is for Bob. Mommy, Bob. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Bob. Congratulations. Thank you. Ooh. You are safe from elimination. If you want to join the League of Winners, you must prove that you can match or even beat their skills. Damn. Wow. Shit, dude. For this elimination tattoo, each of the Ink Masters will pick a style. Oh. You must tattoo in one of the styles called by the Ink Masters. While you tattoo your canvas, the Ink Masters will also tattoo at the same time. Oh, head to head. Head to head. Wow. In critique, your tattoo will be directly compared to the Ink Masters tattoo in the same style. No pressure. Crazy being back in the day. You know what I mean? Like I know. Uh, it's a honor to tattoo just with you in the same room. 
I'm going for a leopard, man. It's a likable image. I'm gonna keep it simple. Winning that $250,000 would be amazing. But going up against DJ and beating him at this style? Dude, that's priceless, man. Check out my competition here. Oh, man. That's a Steve Tap Tap. It is. It was this or kittens. I, I, was, I was going either way. Yeah, man. That's cool. Me picking Steve is 100% tactical. Nobody else in this competition has the balls to step up and do a freehand tattoo. So I'm taking Steve on just so I can show off. Badass piece, man. Yeah, thanks, dude. Appreciate it, man. Man, everybody's crushing it. That's how it's been, dude. Only good tattoos going home. You gotta be the master to be a master. Anthony speaking illustrative style tattooing against somebody that is doing illustrative every single day of the week. And it's not every day that you get thrown something that you can do really good in your own style. This is a tattoo that has color theory and light source that is gonna blow away anything that anybody else creates. Wow, that's cool, dude. Some cyberpunk oni. And I don't wanna be cocky, I'm just, I'm just gonna slay. Let's peep this. Yeah. Oh, that's clean, dude. I decided to go with traditional and go head to head with Tony. I'm going like, very traditional with the palette. You, like, thank more, you, thank you. And it gives me the opportunity to go against Han, which I've been wanting to do. Today, you had to tattoo in one of the styles called by the Ink Masters. If you were able to beat or match the Ink Master, you are safe from elimination. Bob. This is a funky ass tattoo and it's really Cool. The one thing that's always surprising is to see how you pack color and how solid it is and saturated. It's refreshing. It feels like a new style. It feels like something different, and it feels like Bob. Did Bob match the master? Yes, Bob did match the master. Man, I think you beat the master today. Yeah, Bob, I think you beat him. Congratulations, Bob. You matched an ink master, and you are safe from elimination. Thank you. Hey, okay. Katie, you're up. Okay. I love the butterflies. I love how you made the center of them that little heart and left the negative space right on top. You simplified it. You didn't put too many lines on that hair. You kept it exactly what it was supposed to be. Judges, did Katie match the master? Both tattoos are traditional. Both tattoos follow the rules. Katie did match the master. Katie absolutely matched Tony. Katie did match the master. Katie, you matched an ink master and you are safe from elimination. Yes. Congrats. Thank you, Tony. Whoa! Thank you. All right, Creepy Jason, let's see how you did. I like there's a delicateness to it. I love how you threw the web in the back. I think you smashed this dude. Awesome. There's a lot of little intricate stuff like in the eyes and in the eye sockets. Inside of the skull, you have all of the creepy, dirty, dingy web stuff. And then the body of the spider almost looks like it's that really thin exoskeleton sort of cocoon. Judges, did Creepy Jason match the master? Texture for texture, quality for quality. Creepy Jason definitely matched the master. Creepy Jason, I do think you matched the master. Jason matched the master. Ooh. Creepy Jason, you matched an ink master and you are safe from elimination. Thank you guys, appreciate it. That's a good job, Jason. All right, Gian, let's see how you did. You found the biggest dude on the yard and you went after that dude. Yes, 100%. For me, DJ being one of my favorite artists of all time, going head to head, that was the way for me to just step out of my comfort zone. I think you nailed this tattoo. They're super clean. The shape of the tattoo, the details at the bottom, ripping through the mouth, the eyes, I like them all. Thank you. When you really zoom in on the whiskers, they are lined really nicely. That is so hard to do. Did Gian match the Ink Master? Two completely different takes on neo-traditional, but absolutely equal in terms of quality and integrity. Gian, you definitely matched the master. Gian matched the master. You definitely matched the Ink Master. Woo. Gian, you matched an Ink Master, and you are safe from elimination. All right, man. Thank you very much. Woo. Oh, man, thanks, bud. 
this week, you must create a landmark mashup tattoo that seamlessly blends new school with black and gray realism. Oh, wait, what? Oh my God. I honestly can't think of a better test of artistry than taking two opposing styles and flawlessly mashing them together into one cohesive landmark tattoo. This is a crazy challenge because we're mixing oil and water now to things that will never mix. That's a bad idea, that's what that is. Every single one of the masters is shaking in their boots right now. I can't just stick a cartoon head on a realistic no, body. Not. That's kind of confusing. They are not used to the twists and turns of this competition. A little more detailed than I thought. This is maybe the biggest, hardest challenge we've ever had. Good luck, boys. I love the ripped photo idea. Thanks. I need a reason for a new school in black and gray to be together. So if I take a photograph and I tear it in half, it's the best way I can think of to work the challenge into the design. I think they specifically gave me this one because it's time consuming. The best part of today is knowing every single Ink Master's butthole is clenched. Today, you had to show your artistry by seamlessly blending new school and black and gray realism into one landmark tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Angel. You had Machu Picchu. I thought you were Your challenge was an entire city. That black and gray section, it looks like a grainy old photograph. And then we get to the new school part of it. You are not a new school artist, but this tattoo would make me believe otherwise. <laughs> you actually created some atmospheric perspective, like distance between the llama and the back mountains. And I think that makes a powerful, realistic piece. Thank you, thank you. Killed it. It's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. I feel like every single part of Angel's tattoo is my favorite part. Yeah. There's not a single area I could look at that doesn't make me feel like this woman has got some skills. This one met the challenge at 100%. You nailed the challenge and you did a beautiful tattoo. I agree that Angel has the best tattoo of the day. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Angel. Thank you. Congratulations, Angel. You are safe from elimination. This week, you must tattoo a black and gray bug on the throat, oh. all the way up to the underside of the chin. Oh. oh. Holy oh. shit. Damn. Throats are so difficult. If you have minimal workspace, you got the chin that's involved. It's very delicate skin, it's very painful. I have my throat tattooed and it was awful. Today, you had to show contrast tattooing a black and gray bug on your canvas's throat. You were being tested on Ryan's specialty. Let's see how you did. Gian. Oh, all right. You made a beetle look beautiful. I love how you used all the dark leaves around it to frame it up. You were able to take every single little piece of the face, separate it, and use a different tone of gray that worked together. These little circles that you put on the bottom shelf is really, really cool to create that contrast to the center of it. I think this tattoo is badass. Thank you. It's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Bob's tattoo was the most unique. Yeah, I agree with that. We can't forget Gian's. It's hard to dispute technical or artistic vision in Gian's. Tony's really shine today. Tony's is downright sexy. My vote is for Tony. Gian pulled off an incredible tattoo in his style, and it's hard to debate it. My vote is for Gian. What's selling me on Gian's tattoo is there's so much design in this tattoo that the side looks amazing, and it has to look good from every angle. My vote is for Gian. I Ami, mean, my vote is for Gian. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Gian. Thank you. Congratulations, you are safe from elimination. For this elimination tattoo, you must create Japanese tattoos. Oh. oh. To really master Japanese, it takes an entire career. For us to master Japanese within one challenge, it's impossible. Wow. Well-composed Japanese tattoos are jam-packed with symbolism and follow a strict set of rules. Very strict. There's so much history. 
They were the first ones to use color. They were the first ones to do outlines. They were hand poked, so things were simplistic. Make sure the rules are applied because the minute you don't follow the rules, it is no longer a Japanese tattoo. Damn. Ooh, the anxiety. We didn't go like Ooh, demon lady. Ooh, beautiful. This is like my favorite shit to do ever. I wish I could do this stuff all day and I don't get to at home. Competition's hard here. Yeah, they've been firing. Me and the masters, we have an alliance. We really need to keep this thing tight, work together. We're starting to know each and every one of these artists. We know their strengths, weaknesses. We gotta separate Bob and Angel and we really gotta knock Gian right off the top. Today, you had to execute perfectly composed Japanese tattoos. Before we critique your work, Ruby, I want to officially welcome you to the Ink Master Shop. Thank you for having me, guys. All right, let's see how you did. DJ. You chose such a beautiful pattern on the kimono that black pops so much in balance to the hair. It evokes emotion. She has thoughts and feelings and intentions. And if it's about where you're putting it in composition, I mean, you've killed it because it's so flattering on every angle of the arm. It's a work of art. Since you have entered this competition, I have been waiting for your moment to shine, and this is it. Thank you, guys. It's time to decide the tattoo of the day. I'm pretty sure that I know exactly who won tattoo of the day. My man, DJ, all the way. Man. There's not one thing that I would change about it, and for that reason, I'm gonna vote for you. Is that what you say on the show? Vote for you? Vote for DJ. You're going to Hollywood. I don't know. What show am I on? Whatever, it's great. I yeah, love it. Yeah. You're a fantastic singer, and I love your dancing. My vote is for DJ. My vote is for DJ. My vote is for DJ. Clean sweep. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to DJ. I'm stoked. Congratulations. You are safe from elimination. Thank you, guys. Congratulations, Tony. You're headed to the finale to compete against Tiffer and TJ. I never in a million years thought just a regular street shop dude like me could stand before you guys. But as soon as I walked in here, I was walking amongst giants. You are walking with giants, brother. Yeah. That brings us to this week's elimination tattoo. Animals. Oh, you cool. For indigenous people around the world, animals have extraordinary power. Animal totems or spirit guides can be messengers and protectors. I have a lot of experience with animal tattoos. I'm feeling really confident. Animal tattoos are one of the most popular designs done in tattoo shops today. You will have six hours to tattoo an animal in any style. I used set on New School. I was just kind of going to go with something different. New school cartoon style, because I don't have it. Jesse me. He knows this is not my forte. I can do new school, but I don't I do not do it enough where, right. you know, I'd want to rock a, a super sick new school piece on you for six hours. I really got to get this guy to go in a different direction. I'm going to be honest with you, that's not exactly what I do. Now that I got my human canvas in a different direction, I'm feeling good. I'm spending a ton of time on the hair to show super dimension. They want detail, they want line work, they want shadows. I'm doing everything I can do to show that I'm an ink master. That's gonna be badass. Yeah. This week, we asked you to create an animal tattoo. We're testing dimension. Steve. This tattoo is solid. It has all the right skin breaks. This is what I want to see. This one's much better than the last one. The detail is unbelievable. The way the shoulder is turned and you kept it light up in the front, you really got dimension. This is exactly why I am the way I am. When I give you so much it's because you can do this. Maybe some of my ideas don't work as well as others, but some of them you just have such a solid idea and it works. Great job. Thank you. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Steve. This tattoo could have won many different challenges here in this competition. This thing is really strong. Thank you. This week, we're testing ingenuity. Today, your canvases are counting on you to fix one of the biggest mistakes of their lives. <laughs> by covering up a constant source of shame, a hate tattoo. We gotta cover up some hate tattoos. We just did foreheads. This is getting crazier and crazier. 
From Confederate flags to swastikas, these controversial tattoos are permanent statements of strong beliefs. Wow. Your canvases today regret getting these tattoos, so you must help them by transforming these symbols of hate into something new. Today, these are just gonna be covering up hate tattoos. They really have to put everything aside and do the best cover-up they possibly can. What's going on? What's the story behind that? I was just brainwashed when I was younger. Yeah, and when I got older and had kids, I realized, man, what the hell? I'm trying to do a 360. Well, I'd love to help, man. That's oh, yeah, I appreciate for. that. Right, right on. I've been trying to get rid of about 20 years, man. When I first got tattooed, I was like 13, 14 years old. I'm like an idiot joining the Aryan Brotherhood. That ain't cool. That's not where I want to be. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're red, black, brown, yellow, green, whatever. Unfortunately, I've been a victim of hate. When I was wanting to get an apprenticeship to learn how to tattoo, I was told that the color of my skin was going to hinder my chances. To be a minority, it's actually driving me even more to do a killer job. So how'd you get rid of the swasty? I put a little chinger in the gravestone. We're burying the past, so it's perfect. Can't wait for all the stress to come off my shoulders. To be able to help this guy change his life is a complete honor. There ain't nobody going to beat this one. Let him know how it's done. Today, you had to show ingenuity by covering a hate tattoo. Anthony. This is one of the most solid cover-ups of the day. Definitely nothing of that tattoo is coming through. Shows really good ingenuity having to draw that tombstone just right. And you could use those details and the cracks to mask what areas you need to really get hidden. You have so many nice details in the hair. You have really fine, fine lines. You create this kind of ratty feeling, but it still shows perfect line work in there. This thing really, really shows strong today. You did a great job. All right, judges, time to choose who had the best tattoo of the day. Anthony's tattoo gets it. I love the high definition of Anthony's tattoo, but it does look like a weird composite that's not realized. Not for me. For me, everything about the tattoo, especially the cover-up area itself, is executed so well and so precise. I love James's tattoo, but he had some hiccups in the line work, and I really couldn't pick too much apart about Anthony's. I need a final decision. Anthony. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Anthony. So this is kind of what I was thinking. It's like a religious Tibetan mask. I don't get to do many heads, but I'm always down for a challenge. And how far down the neck is this going to go? How far down do you want it to go? I want my whole neck covered. Cool. One thing I'm known for is my speed. So if I can get something bigger than the other two coaches, I'm down. Nobody's going this big, dude. DJ, you are up. Wow. DJ, clearly you didn't go small. Nope. He's got a mask on the top of his head that slides up. The tassels ride the side. And I also wanted pieces that went together, but they are their own pieces from top to back. When he's walking backwards, people think that's a skeleton with a third eye with his brain cut out. Every way you look at this guy's head, there's something going on that's interesting and, and intriguing. You look at the top of this guy's head, there's no doubt that thing is super tight, that's super clean. To me, the top of the head is really, really, really strong. When we get down and we get to the skull, the way that you have those negative pieces that come out of the eyes and come onto the side of the head, beautiful. Guys, I need a final decision. I'm going for overall art, overall creativity, and overall wow factor. My vote is for DJ. <laughs> That means the winner of Return of the Masters and $100,000 is DJ. All right, Tim and Tony, one of you will move on to the finale and one of you will be eliminated. To earn the final spot in the finale, you must survive a tattoo marathon. Oh my God. You will each face off tattooing three 90-minute tattoos, each in a completely different style. All right, guys, this is your last chance to earn your spot in the finale. You have 90 minutes to tattoo a fine line script assigned by Tiffer. And your time starts now. This is where I excel. I work fast, I can do any style you throw at me, and I guarantee you, no one in this place can hang. You already got him. Cool, so as long as it's bulletproof, I'm good. Yeah, dude, this font looks weak. Five, four, three, two, 
one. That is it. Speeds down, time is up. Get ready for your next tattoo. That is crisp. Up next, you have 90 minutes to tattoo a new school full color apple assigned by TJ. And your time starts now. Let's do this. Don't sculpt that line. Keep that one, one pass. Okay. I'm harnessing my new school roots into you. Five. Keep going, keep going. Four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Get ready for the next tattoo. Tim should sure up to play today. I'd eat that apple. If I didn't do some coaching on that one, dude. For the last tattoo of the marathon, you have 90 minutes to tattoo a single needle, Sacred Heart, assigned by the judges. And your time starts now. That doesn't hurt. Give it a minute. <laughs> if you do not know how to use a single needle, it's like a razor. You can fillet someone's skin. You're creating a full image with just one little needle head. 30 minutes left. I'm hoping to prove that just because you have a specialty and a niche, that means jack. If you don't know how to take whatever comes through the door, if you don't know how to do walk-ins, you do not deserve to go against me. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. Boom! The tattoo marathon is officially over. Yes. Tony and Tim, you had to survive a tattoo marathon to earn the last spot in the finale. Let's see how you did. Tony, you're up first. Let's look at your fine line script tattoo. The double line on this tattoo really allows for you to put the highlight in, shade it from the top and the bottom, leave a little skin break in the middle, and the openness between each letter really makes everything legible. Nice job. Thank you. I, I take pride in lettering. Next up is the full color New School Apple. It definitely looks like an apple. It's pretty solid and saturated, wall to wall color. I would almost say this is more just straight up off the wall tattooing as opposed to like really hitting a New School style. But solid tattooing, man. Finally, the single needle black and gray Sacred Heart. I really love that soft, delicate look to the right side of the Sacred Heart where you don't overwhelm it with darkness. You can read all the dimensions in this thing. You can see the highlights on the thorns. Man, that thing is badass. It's my favorite of the three. Thank you. Judges, it's time to determine who earned the last spot in the finale. I like elements of all these tattoos. When I look at them together as a collective, just looking at versatility, I got to go with Tony. Tony. The judges have decided. Tony, you have earned the last spot in the finale. Yeah. Good job, bud. Congratulations, Tony. You're headed to the finale to compete against Tiffer and TJ. I never in a million years thought just a regular street shop dude like me could stand before you guys. But as soon as I walked in here, I was walking amongst giants. You are walking with giants, brother. Congratulations, guys. You can all head back to the loft. <sighs> yeah. Good job. <laughs> but I told you, right? <laughs> All right, guys, today we're testing artistry and we're judging blind. That's my favorite part of this whole thing. You don't know who did what, and this is completely as brutally honest as can be. Hope you're ready for a long distance ass kicking. Nobody knows your strengths and weaknesses better than the artists who've competed alongside you all season long. And today, they are calling the shots. Bob, Angel, Jarrell, and Kelly, you'll choose the style and subject that Jimmy must tattoo. Oh. Wow. The style and subject? Style and subject. This is crazy. Bob, Jarrell, Kelly, and Jimmy, you'll choose the style and subject that Angel must tattoo. And so on and so forth. It's gonna be wild. Man. Okay, guys, discuss what style and subject you want to assign Bob. Let's go. 
One thing that has been consistent this entire time is line work issues with Bob. So I'm trying to think if he can achieve fine line anything. If they think Bob can't do lines, they're wrong. You're gonna be okay. All right, Jarrell, what's it gonna be? A fine line, black and gray, realistic lionfish. So fine line only. Yep, no shader. A lionfish is covered in stripes, has crazy pectoral fins that are all frilly like seaweed, and also has these spiny spikes on its back. He's Every view of a lionfish is a hard view of a lionfish. Just look at the anatomy of that thing. It's just a camouflage piece of seaweed. Let the fun begin. I'm screwed right now. I have to learn a new technique in tattooing. I've never done any fine line black and gray in my life. Mastering a technique, you know, at the same time as tattooing it is a pain in the ass. You feel confident about this one? I don't know. It's kind of intimidating. Today, your opponents called the shots. Three of you will move on to the finale, and two of you will be packing your machines. Let's see how you did. West, start with you. Bob. For a single needle tattoo with no other shader, you do a really clean take on this thing. You capture the look of this fish by the shape of the body. It has a roundness to the body of the shape, and it's because that highlight you left through the stripes and how rich the darkness gets. You totally kill it in this tattoo, man. Thank you. Good job, bud. Thank you. It's a rough one you guys threw at me. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Bob got called out on something that most people would really blunder, and he killed it and everything in that tattoo is cohesive and finished and applied properly. And for that reason, I'm gonna go with Bob. Bob. And my vote is also Bob. Congrats. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Bob. Wow. And you were worried. Oh, I was. Yeah. Congratulations, Bob. You have earned the first spot in the finale. Holy <laughs> shit. Look at you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I'm really happy right now. Congratulations. Thank you. For this elimination tattoo, you must integrate a galaxy into an everyday object. Ooh. What? Oh my god. Oh, now I really wish I got saved. Galaxy tattoos, a lot of the times, are very hard to read, very messy looking, and if you don't pull it off right, it's just gonna look like a big blob of I don't know if I can pull off the galaxy. You got it. Come on. This is gonna be black and gray, this is gonna be color? Mm-hmm. Okay. Pretty much everybody on my team is mad at me, and I genuinely do not care. One of the first things I was told when I started working at a tattoo shop was never trust another artist. I didn't come here to make friends. I'm here to win for myself. I'm gonna try and make you proud, Christian. You make you proud, Chris. Four hours left, guys. Today, you had to integrate a galaxy into an object proving your technical application. Chris. I love the drawing. It's very slick, very simple. You kill it on solid color saturation, the shading in the horse, top notch. I love your take on space. You made it consistent and illustrative. I think this kid's just starting to realize how good he really is. Well, whatever's happening, the trajectory you're on, keep doing that. It is time to pick a winner, judges. Who had the best tattoo of the day? Chris stands out. You couldn't line up 10 people that would look at Chris's tattoo and go, that's space. Kyle does have a skull made out of space. Well, if you compare these lines to Chris's lines. OK, but then look at Chris's space and look at this space. I like the fact that it's illustrated to match the style of the drawing. Final decision. Kyle, I vote for Chris. Are you kidding me? For space? I got to stick with Chris. Boom. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Chris. That means this week, Team Christian, you will form the jury of peers. Today, you must turn a mistake into a masterpiece by tattooing a cover-up. My life. If there's anything I don't enjoy dealing with, it's someone else's mistakes. You have to design a tattoo as a cover-up that genuinely just looks like a solid piece of work. I won the cover-up challenges, guys. I know what to do. Let's meet your canvases. Here we go. And what did you want to get covered up? Uh, Celtic cross, my back. What would you like to get it covered up uh, with? An outstretched owl, black and gray. One of you is going to be with that. Oh, that shit. That is a big tattoo to cover up. This owl is going to have to be so big, and there's no time in the world to be able to do that tattoo and then do it well. Alrighty. Canvases. 
One by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Who's it next with? Ow, on the back. Creepy Jason. Okay, cool. Guess I'm doing this big owl tat across this guy's entire back. Woo! Look at those crispy lines. Those lines are good. I hope so. There's a lot of them. The most difficult aspect of this tattoo is just getting it done in six hours because the cover up itself will be the body of the owl, and then proportionately, the wings are going to have to be this big. I'm taking a huge risk right now, and if it doesn't pay off, I'm going to be. I need six more hours, at least six more hours to finish this. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. <laughs> All right. That's it, man. I'm done, like, abusing you. Jason, what up, brother? How you feeling? I feel like I ran out of time on that thing. It ended up being too big, man, for as big as it needed to be. Today, you had to tattoo a cover-up. Men's team, let's start with you. Jason. It's a very intimidating tattoo to try to cover up. You do a great job really punching in the blacks. A lot of detail, not only with line work, but with your directional shading. That thing was so faded out that your light shading pretty much becomes that same tone that's underneath, so it's very easy to camouflage. I think you gave this guy a reason to take his shirt off again. Great job. Yeah, thanks. Can't hate right now. What's up? Can't hate, but I can find can't like six little boy. problems. They're real little. Yeah, keep grasping They're for real the straws. <laughs> All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. The toughest cover-up is definitely going to be Jason's. To actually blast over a big, intimidating Celtic cross in the center of somebody's back is commendable. And it also turned out to be one of the most well-executed tattoos of the day. I'm going to go with Jason. Creepy Jason. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Jason. Today, you must transform your canvas's significant other into a pinup. I hate this challenge. Pinups are usually a disaster stay in this competition, and I'm not feeling good about it. Your canvases have brought along their better half, who they idealize. You must use ingenuity to show the rest of the world how hot they are, or how hot they think they are. Pinups are incredibly easy to screw up especially if there's significant others in the room looking over your shoulder. It's unnerving. It throws you off balance. Let's meet your canvases. I'm the one getting tattooed. Yeah. My husband in a classic muscle car on my arm. The worst canvas to get today is the old lady, because older skin is terrible to tattoo. So you wanted your husband driving a car in your arm, right? Exactly. Right. This lady's skin is pretty stretched out, and it's going to be tough to tattoo. Do you want him to look just like he looks now? Do you want him to look when you guys met? A little more hair. <laughs> all right, all right. I've been top since I've been here. You can see that there's not too many people left, so I do not want to be in the bottom. It would suck to make it all this way and not go to the top five. I feel like I'm so close to making the cut, I can't mess it up now. But well, how do we do a male pinup? That is a great <laughs> question. I've never done a male pinup. I got the worst canvas in the room. I got the older couple. It's a tricky tattoo. I got to do a car. I got to do a pinup. I'm just thinking how I'm going to make a car look good on her arm. Three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. That's a good looking dude. I'm really happy with this tattoo. You with me forever now. Today, you had to show ingenuity by transforming your canvas's significant other into a pinup tattoo. Gian. One of the things I like the most about this entire tattoo is how you dealt with the couple. It was obvious that you were working hard to give them the best tattoo. You definitely could have talked them out of the car, but you didn't. And you gave yourself a tough tattoo to do, and you did it. And what I think you really captured is how proud this dude is sitting in front of his baby. It has soul, and that shows a lot of creativity and a lot of ingenuity. I love this thing. 
Today, I think thinking out of the box and the ingenuity challenge, John just sends home a really strong tattoo. It was the perfect design, the perfect application. Had you fumbled on that or anything, then immediately I would be with Ryan. The thing with Ryan's tattoo is we expect to see a beautiful female figure on pinup day. Gian got this challenge that everybody else would have just panicked under the pressure. My vote's for Gian. Gian. So I just have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Gian. Congratulations, bud. Today, you must tattoo neon lights. 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 So you know how hard that is? A neon light tattoo is showing the illusion of a glow on somebody's skin. So the only way you can make the illusion is having a heavy amount of black and a very light source of color. Let's meet your canvases. Angel. Hey. Biomech. I've never done biomech. I've never done neon. Bring it on. What else have I not done? I'm kind of excited, honestly. Yeah. You want to do the, the like super bright neon? It might right. be smarter to go where it sees less sun. For this challenge, there's more ways to f it up than there is to do it right. I had a funny feeling that I would be doing some biomech. I've never done biomech in my entire career. But the thing is, it's a light source challenge. All black and gray is, is light sourcing. And I think I might actually have an advantage here. Every time I got a tattoo, I bring a general idea and the artist just takes it from there. I think you end up getting way better art that way. Exactly. Thank you, Midwest, for this Biovec tattoo because it actually gave me the perfect platform to shine today. I'm on my game 100%. Today, you are being tested on contrast with neon light tattoos. Let's see how you did. West, you're up first. Angel. Hey guys. The way that you create the glow on your piece is very nice. The brightest part, there's nothing there. You have solid black, bright color, open skin, and it shows contrast. Thank you. Thanks. Solid. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. The first and only tattoo that jumps out as one cohesive, bright, strong, solid tattoo is Angel's for me. Angel had light sourcing wrapping around, shooting around. I mean, it's a well thought out plan. And it's one of the simplest tattoos of the day. Hands down, no contest, Angel. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Angel. There, girl. That's pretty exciting, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> today, you must put your composition skills to the test and create negative space tattoos. What? Just as negative space can transform the way you look at things, you must change your perspective and create a masterpiece out of what is not there. Say that in English. Negative space is purposely leaving something untattooed. Just tattooing an image like you're used to, you're just flipping it and just tattooing the background instead to cut out your image. So I wanted a black and gray graveyard, kind of like wrapping around down here. Um, if I could take like a space like your form, that would be great. There's about seven people left, and we're trying to do the best tattoo possible. All I need is a canvas that'll trust me in doing some really cool I trust you, of course. Cool. That's awesome. I'm excited. <laughs> I am so confident on this tattoo. All this you get mine, because those are just solid chunks of black. Yeah. You know what I mean? Keep yeah. that edge really clean. Cool. I'm ready to step up and show I'm as good as the top guns in this competition. Today, you were being tested on composition with negative space tattoos. Let's see how you did. Deanna. I love this tattoo. The fact that you used this coffin shape as the border, that really sets the mood. You already know that there's something dark going on. Your ability to get this gritty, soft, smooth texture from the black to the gray shading has that black and white horror film look to it. It looks really smooth. The way the trees break into this image and spider across, the darkness is really cool, and the composition is, has a really nice balance to it. Thank you. In this competition, only the strongest survive. So today, you must prove your strength by facing off against another artist in a head-to-head -head battle. Oh, shit. What? Oh, man. Okay. Lose, and you will be up for elimination. Natural laxative. Vaughn, who do you have in the crosshairs? I'm excited about this. I'm going for Holly. Holly, what subject and style will you and Pawn be tattooing? Neo-traditional female bust holding an anatomical flaming heart, full color. 
definitely like mine better than the one with the guy against me. Yeah, it's pretty badass. Today, you had to face off in a head-to-head -head battle. Based on your work, half of you will be up for elimination. Han and Holly. Holly, you call out a neo-traditional female bust holding an anatomical flaming heart. All right, Holly, I really like this illustration. I love the color play on this tattoo, simple color palette. The hair is drawn really nice, beautiful face. Pretty much everywhere you look at this tattoo, the line works really clean, really solid, really bold. Beautiful tattoo. Let's have a look at Pond's tattoo. Your outline on this is very strong. Your black shading in the hair, and the peppery way that you do it, and you pull the solid black out, it's strong. I do like how this heart is put in and colored, and it is bright as hell. Just packed in bright color. I do think you have some design problems. The hand holding the heart. I took a photo of my canvas's hand holding something. And I understand that now it's a drawing on paper, and I understand that now it looks jacked. Gotcha. All right, guys, got to figure out who wins this face off. Technically, they're both really strong. Both of your tattooing is great. Pawn, you get edged out on a lot of things at the drawing table today. My vote for Holly. Holly for the win. The winner of this face off is Holly. Thank you. This week, there are no teams. What? It's every artist for themselves. Oh my god. Oh, damn. Well, finally, I can act as an individual and just worry about me for once. And not only that, we are heading straight into the elimination tattoo. Brutal. Today, you must prove your strength by facing off against another artist in a head-to-head -head style battle, regardless of region. Damn. I don't want to face off against you guys. There are 10 artists remaining, and there will be five different head-to-head face-offs, each in a completely different style. Okay. Hiram, you'll face off against Jimmy tattooing American traditional. Nobody wants to face Jimmy in American traditional. That's the only thing that that mother does. And this is going to be my first traditional tattoo ever. I'm there is one more thing that you should know. There's Shit. always one more thing. Your tattoos must speak for themselves because today, all of your tattoos will be judged blind. This is a fun one. True battle. That's big. Jimmy, what kind of brown will you use? I have like four different ones. Open my drawer. Yep. That's the one I always use. Can I stay this one? Yeah, take it. Jimmy is actually giving me advice. I believe he feels bad for me. He's just looking at me like, ah, you're so cute for trying. I'm a shark. And if I smell blood, I'm coming for it. That's the dude I'm going against. OK. <laughs> That's commendable. I see you. Fair and square. Yeah, fair is fair. I may be taking a risk here with helping Hiram, but I don't care. No matter what happens, Hiram's not going to win. It is my style. There's no way in hell I'm going to be in the bottom. Here we go, dude. There you go. All right, today the artists are facing off in a head-to-head -head style battle, and we're judging these things blind. I know I'm in trouble, but that's obvious. Let's see how they did. All right, here we go. This is Jimmy Snass. Jimmy's black shading, how he whips out, is definitely in this tattoo. I don't mean any offense to anybody, but I don't know if this is Jimmy. The red all the way around the exterior petals is completely holidayed. If this is Jimmy, something's up. It can be nerve-wracking doing your own style. Moving on to the second tattoo. That was mine. It is a style battle, and this drawing is the staple. The little white highlights on the edge of the green leaves, nice. Edge of the flower that's white with the red faded out, nice. But anywhere in this tattoo, the black is not as dark as the outline. Might have got me, Hiram. We'll see. Each of your tattoos have been ranked by the judges. Win your style battle, and you'll be safe from elimination. Lose, and you could be packing your machines. Jimmy and Hiram, you faced off tattooing American traditional. Let's see who won this style battle. I did that one. Wow. Nobody outshined anybody in one section, and nothing screams American traditional more than an eagle. I didn't want to just go with the typical thing. Today, since it's a style battle, you want to really capture that style. Congratulations. Hiram, you are safe from elimination. I don't know how I helped you out today. You're going to have to help me. Today, you must tattoo an anatomical heart morph. 
morph. Each canvas today wants an anatomical heart morphing into another image. Oh. You must use artistry to make the two images flow together perfectly. To win this competition, it's not enough to just be a technical tattooer. You must also have the artistry to draw appealing images. And these tattoos are a perfect test. Warp in the heart. That'd be interesting. Let's meet your canvases. Would you like to get tattooed today? I would like an anatomical heart morphing into a clock right here on my ribcage. It's hard enough to transform the heart into another element. The ribs are going to hurt and take way too long to tattoo. Canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Katie. God damn it. I know I'm going to be able to talk my canvas out of putting it on his ribs, but I still have to spend drawing time doing that. Son of a bitch. You want it on your ribs? Yes. I have to move the placement. If you've never sat through a rib tattoo before, it's definitely risky. They think that they're giving me a hard canvas. Little do they know that I'm the canvas whisperer. This guy thinks he's getting a tattoo on his ribs. No, he's not. Would you be willing to change the spot at all? Yes. Cool. That, that's fine. OK, yeah. OK, OK, cool. I told you so. You guys truck along pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Chris is using Eric and Tyler to try to gun for Katie. She's going to show them what's up. The tattoo is looking awesome. I'm stuck on it. Instead of just mashing the heart and the clock together, my goal is to make it look like the clock and heart pieces are made out of each other. I've gone head to head with Eric once and I lost. This is my chance to prove I'm a better artist than him. And Tyler has been doing boring tattoos, so I have to prove that I'm here to stay. Tyler's work is super clean. Do you like the design? I love it. Super sweet. I'm super excited. Good, good, good. <laughs> Today, you had to create anatomical heart morph tattoos that show your artistry. Each of you tattooed against two other artists, and we will directly compare your work. One of you will win, and two of you will lose. Katie. There are some really nice little details. The gears are really nice. The hands are really nice. The morphing part, I was hoping to see more of where we're seeing the texture of one item transitioning into the other item. But it is readable. It does look like a mechanical heart, but you did something chaotic with it that is exciting to look at. You took a big risk with the design, which I think the other artists didn't do with their designs. You deconstructed the clock, and you combined it with the heart in a really cool way. Thank you. We have to debate a win here between Eric, Tyler, and Katie. I have to go with the one that I think is the most interesting, which is Katie's. Katie's is by far the most dynamic. Katie. Katie. Winner of the head-to-head -head challenge is Katie. Congratulations. Because art has no gender, your art must speak for itself. I'm cool with that. So today, your tattoos will be judged blind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do big, tough tattoos, so I'm pretty excited to see if they know what gender did the tattoo. You'll have six hours to tattoo any subject in any style. Uh... So no excuses. I am freaking the f out. What do I even do? Because I don't have a style. I'm still super early in my career. So now I feel like I'm Do the best work you can. Make it that a great tattoo goes home because somebody creatively outthought the other. Show that you're a craftsman. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I don't know if you noticed half the room is female, half the room is I male. I did actually notice that. In this room, you had nine of the most talented women I've ever met in my life. Yeah. You know? So every single one of them is really cool. I mean, I hate that I'm going to have to, like, take them out one by one, <laughs> you know? People think I'm a traditional tattooer, so I'm going to give something totally different. I'm going with an eyeball design that has a mustache and a toothpick. It's a risk, but I'm in it to win it. It like gets hard. Like I'm excited about something. It's like I want to run to my family and tell them. Yeah. You can't. This is the longest I've been away from my family, and I miss them so much. My wife is like my best friend. Yeah, that would be really hard. I'm here so I could provide for my family doing the thing I love. If I'm going to be away from them this long, it's got to mean something to me. I've got to win. All right, guys, today we're testing artistry and we're judging blind. That's my favorite part of this whole thing. You don't know who did what, and this is completely as brutally honest as can be. Hope you are ready for a long distance ass kicking. Let's take a look at the first tattoo. Wow. 
Oh, here we go. What's really cool in terms of artistry is like this captured your energy without putting your face on there. That thing's killer. Everywhere you look is super crisp. All the shading looks deliberate. The highlights look deliberate. The little point of that toothpick is super sharp. Everywhere is so clean. You think that's creepy, Jason? Yep. I can't imagine anyone else's mind coming up with this. Based only on your work, each of your tattoos have been ranked by the judges. It's time to reveal the highest ranked tattoo. Here we go. Nice. Pond. Good pond man. That's pretty cool. Guys think I just do wonky traditional and stuff like that? So I wanted to show you I could do more than just that. If you present us with things that we don't expect you guys to do, it makes for a standout tattoo. I haven't seen a million eyeballs riding a motorcycle. So immediately for me, I'm like, damn, that's awesome. Congratulations, Pawn. You have the best tattoo of the day. Appreciate it.